This is not the grand final at all. <laughs> Please, this is not the grand final at all. Let me change it real quick. It's the winner's brackets. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. So, did you actually rocking, uh, not Axel, but uh, Faust. So, yeah, this is going to be a pretty interesting match. Not, uh, too, not going to lie. The reason being that we don't have a lot of Faust representation in the Virtual Cup, except for probably Amato sometimes. And, but recently, Amato has not been playing uh, in the Virtual Cup. So, really, really happy to see that we have another representation for Faust in the match, in the, in the tournament. So, let's see how this pans out. In the meantime, I am going to check the tournament brackets uh, rather... Uh, rather often just to make sure that everything is going right and nothing is going wrong and as of now everything seems to go smoothly i believe so it should be fine yes it is okay so let me go back to commentating so as you can see jiju mid uh jiju made uh actually managed to get the first round let's see if uh, mazi yabai can is able to bring it back. Unfortunately, is forced to pop the burst right there to get out of Jiju's pressure. Who was about to take Mazi Yabaket in the corner. Both opponents got hit by the weight right there. And Mini Faust is out for blood. Nice juggle right there from Jiju. Goes for the spear. Unfortunately for them, Mazi Yabaken was there with the guard, with the block. Goes for the instant uh, dust and gets caught by the uh, teleport from Jiju has to eat some pressure in the corner but manages to get out goes for the 2hs right there catches juju sending up a little bit too late very nice delay right there in the pressure caught juju pressing some buttons right there and punish accordingly with the 6h good stuff goes for the 2s gets the counter hit forces juju to pop the burst let's see if juju can get out of this pressure no one wants to be in the corner when you're facing biken obviously and here we go with the delay right there land from Jiju using the very very mobile uh, air maneuvering of Faust from uh, Jiju. Jiju still still having to face some pressure goes for the head toss in the air. Two bombs you better be careful bike and ooh that was a really really wow look at that so many bombs good lord that's a lot of RNG right there in favor of Jiju goes for the juggle and look at that juggle too damn that was crazy good. Goes for the overhead. Nice block from uh, Mazia Baiken. Just one more opening. Should be able... No, didn't catch the back dash. That was really nicely done, though, from Jiju. Gets caught right there by the Kabari. This is going to be a wall break with the... Uh, with the Tatami. Let's see how this spins out. Let's go for the... Oh, wow! And low profiles it with the crawl, unfortunately for them. Mazia Baiken was on point with the block of the mix, mix, mix cross up. And the blocks right there from Jiju. Good lord! But unfortunately, Guilty Gear is a, a very, very punishing game. There is no way you are going to uh, that you are going to block eternally, especially against a character with so many mix-ups as Baiken. Unfortunately, uh, sorry for uh, yeah, Baiken. By the way, I changed the flags. I put the the Chinese flags, but uh, in fact, Maji Baiken is from Japan, not from China. I changed it right away, so it should be fine. Anyways, let's see if Jiju manages to bring it back. We shall see. It definitely wasn't completely one-sided. It could really go both ways. And I have to say that Gigi's block were pristine in the in the in the corner. It's only like there's. It really can be helped. I mean, is especially against a character like Baken, you are going to get open up if you block too much. And look at the damage right there. First round of the second match goes to Magia Baken. Let's see if Jiju can bring it back. Did you definitely ah definitely struggling right here? I can't understand. Goes for the cross up. Good lord! And gets the juggle. Could have gotten the juggle with the bomb. That would have been freaking sick. But anyways, it's fine. It's not over till it's over. We might get some pretty nice uh, set plays here and there. Here we go with the bomb. Nice catches the back dash as well. Gets the super powered up head. Gets the juggle. Almost got the juggle right there. And here we go with Magia by can going for the air to air, catching Did you out of the corner. Goes for the six p. Good lord. Good stuff from Maji Abakin. Definitely on point. Definitely knowledgeable on the Faust matchup. And Jiju as well. Look at that. Tried to go for the cross up a little bit too far, but should be able to get the juggle. I'll go straight for the overdrive for the kill. I actually don't recall what Baiken faces look like when she gets hit by this. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, here we go. It goes with the Kabuki. Good stuff from Jiju. Bringing it back. Yo, one round apiece. Is Jiju gonna be able to nail it? We shall see. Nice block on the... Ooh, catches the back dash with the Kabari. And Jiju right there. Trying his orangey look. Gets the counter hit with the overhead. Using the spear. 
the bomb is still there. You have to block. Majiaba can definitely does not want to waste time trying to close the distance between them and Jiju. Jiju with the 2S for the counter hit. And good lord, Majiaba can just getting, yeah, completely like out of patience. Just run straight towards Jiju, tries to get the grab, goes for the overdrive to get their turn back and gets it. So let's see how this spins out. There is a little foul somewhere there, but it's fine. He's out of the, out of the, uh, out of the screen now. Ooh, nice back dash right there. Even oh, too late for the grab. That was so unfortunate from Juju. Need to see it. Okay, let's see. Okay, nice use of the uh, the reflect shield. Gonna get the juggle right there too far from the corner to get the juggle though. The the the, the wall down. One more hit. One more hit. And little oh, little Faust here to save the day. Oh, that was surely death if Little Faust was in there. Careful there. Who's gonna get it? Nice block on the overdrive. Oh no, no, I did try to get the kill, but still got the kill. Thought that the tap dust was not gonna be enough. Probably catching. Uh, actually, it's uh, one round apiece, by the way. One match apiece, I'm sorry. Uh, Maji Abakin got the first one, I do believe. So now we are one match apiece. Sorry, I put one for Jiju, but it's actually for uh, Maji Abakin, my bad. Okay, anyways, we are fine. Let me check the bracket real quick, guys. Just to be sure, I don't want anything going wrong today since it's my first Brojo Cup in quite a while. <laughs> I want everything to go as smoothly as possible. Very nice use of the uh, the Hiragi to go through uh, the um, the cavalry of Faust. Oh, nice use of the Kabari to hit Faust out of the Scarecrow mix-up. And here we go with the juggle from the mix, mix, mix. Not enough to get the wall break. Goes for the Afro. The roof is on fire. No, it's not. Ooh, too far. And look at the Hiragi. Good lord. Oh, man. And you tried to get that freaking wig on fire. But, man, Machia Baikin won't let them in using the Hiragi. That was so genius. Good lord. Good lord. Yo, Maurice. Uh, long time. No see how it been. How you doing? Good lord. That was so such a crazy Hiragi. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Okay, nice use right there of the freaking Roman Castle. Should be dead. <gasps> oh, wow, a Juju, man. The American Burst. The American Burst. He catches the freaking Burst of Magia Bike and Magia Bike. Good Lord, that was crazy. Good stuff from Juju, man. Very nicely done. It's been going well. Hope it's the same for you, boss. During well, yeah, it's it is doing better right now. I have uh, less fever than before. Last week I was actually not last week, but two weeks ago I got a pretty nasty uh, fever combined with a toe issue. But both issues are starting to get better right now. So yeah, definitely feeling better. I got a regional event on Saturday coming up. Oh, good shit! Best luck to you, Maurice. I'm sure you're gonna rock it. Don't worry. We're all here. We're gonna cheer for you, man. Damn, issues on both ends of the body. Exactly, the worst part, man. <laughs> Glad to hear it's getting better. Yeah, it's definitely getting better. I'm probably going to be streaming all week long uh, if uh, everything goes according to Keikaku. But yeah, I should be streaming some... Um, I should be streaming some uh, some Eno action in the near future because I'm back to playing some Eno. Yeah, I, I finished my honeymoon with, uh, with Slayer. Very nice character, by the way. Very fun to play. But I, I kind of feel like I want to play some more Eno. So yeah. Anyways, that being said, good stuff from G. You buy can in the corner. That being said, Jiju is currently in the lead 2 1. It's definitely not over till it's over, though. But Majiya Baikan probably feeling the heat right now. Feels that they need to be a little bit more, you know, even more aggressive than what they were already. And not to say that they haven't been aggressive already. If you just seen the previous iteration with uh, Majiya Baikan catching the uh, syringe attempt from Jiju when. Uh, Majiya Baiken actually had the afro and managing to get a Hiragi off of it. That was actually pretty cool. I'm really not gonna lie. That being said, here we go with Majiya Baiken taking the first round of this fourth match. Let's see if Jiju can shift the tide of battle and bring it back. We shall see. That being said, he is uh, currently in the lead, so he doesn't really have to. He can he can uh, he can proceed to uh, taking some risks. I'm not gonna lie. That being said, here we go. Majiya Baiken in right now goes for the freaking. Uh, Roman cancel, not the Roman cancel, the wild, wild, the the wild assault. Here we go, and goes for the cross up. But what a block from Majiya Baiken! The blocks of Majiya Baiken have been absolutely crazy. Uh, Jiju's as well. Jiju's got the wig on fire, and little Faust is not happy. He's been triggered, but oh, Jiju getting the full conversion off of the spear, and here we go with the jump in. Too far to get the syringe. 
Very nice take from Majiya by Gen, by the way. Close for the air turret. Gets an aerial to Tommy. And here we go with the cross up, the ambiguous cross up. Did you is gonna have to burst? And burst right there. Goes for the overdrive, the overhead. Oh, it's cheat. No, 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 not like this. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Everything can happen. Everything can happen. Ooh, the block still, but GG, man. GG, man. Good lord. Oh, the phases of this match are giving me a heart attack, man. I could feel the tension building, bro, in my body. Good lord. Now, this is really bad for my health right now. No, but good stuff, man. This is a very nice match. And this is the first match of today, by the way. Very nice 6 right there from uh, Majiya Baikett. Doesn't even get hit by the cavalry. Forces Jiju to pop the burst. Majiya Baikett out for blood, but Jiju answering in. Do four man the freaking meteorites are out. Jiju gets the cross up too. Good lord. Nice use of the teleport. But you can definitely see that Jiju is being conscious of the Hiragi. Definitely does not want to get hit by it. That would have been a pretty nice conversion if the bomb hit. But that being said, Jiju didn't even really require it. He managed to get the kill. This is match point. Majiyabaki needs this match if they want to stay in the winner's bracket. That would be so unfortunate if they lose the very first match. Oh, very nice close-up pressure right there. Majiyabaki goes for the wall break. No, yes, goes for the overdrive wall break, which means that they are going to have a heavy knockdown. Juju is going to have to face a mix-up right off the bat. See how this pans out. Very nice block and gets it below. Juju with the overhead. Ah, uh, Tatami Gaishi right there. Oh, very nice block. And Juju getting the side switch. It can definitely go anyways right there. Very nice a jump out of my GB. Yeah, but it could have been really a bite. And here we go with uh, Majia Baiken, who is currently in fire. The freaking uh, the bar from Majia Baiken, who is once again in fire. Oh, nice flag. That's are you freaking serious. Careful there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that Juju made the good call right there. Keep your burst because Majia Baiken has a burst of their own. Okay, let's see how this pans out. This is the absolute last round of this match. The one who takes this one takes it all. Well, takes at least the right to stay in the winner's bracket. Nice use of Mix Mix 6 to catch the back dash. And Meteorites are out. Maji Yabakin getting hit cross up, but manages to freaking uh, hold themselves up. Goes for the mixes. Nice back dash. Oh, Lord, no. And GG getting hit by the counter. This is going to be huge. Maji Yabakin does not have any resource, though, to get a heavy knockdown. And Gigi has his burst, though. He needs to be careful. Nice use of the TP, the teleport. Too far to get out of all and gets hit by the 2H. Magia by Ken. Okay, Bridge and Cookie. How to keep versus Norio. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, Jago versus Bridget. I do. It's probably the first time I get uh, to commentate Norio's match. I do believe he did participate to previous iteration of the Road Trip Cup, but I do. Wow, very nice start of the match. Norio is switching quick to go with the 6P. Manages to get a hard knockdown. But that being said, the set plays of Haruki has been set. Good lord, yeah, let's see how this went. Yeah, it is a, this is a very, uh, M-E-M-E-M-E-A, -E -E uh, a match for real. Especially since we have so many, uh, we have, well, I can think of very, one very strong Jackal player in E-M-E-A, and also one very strong, uh, Bridget player as well. But yeah, I do agree with you, Marisa. <laughs> it definitely is the case. Let's see how this spins out. Who is going to win between, uh, between Carrots of Wisdom and, uh, and, um, uh, good, good lord, um, Super Noon. <laughs> Let's see who is going to win. We shall see. Anyways, Haruki versus Norio. Both are very strong, I'm sure. And actually, uh, Norio lost the first round, unfortunately, but it is nothing to be uh, scared of. He still has plenty of opportunities to bring it back. I have no idea how this matchup goes, though, who has the advantage. I would tend to say that Bridget, thanks to her mobility, might be able to uh, maneuver over the minions a little bit more easier than uh, other uh, characters. Also, the reach of her yo-yos make it so that she can uh, reach Jacko even though uh, she's protected by the uh, the minion. Potentially, that's my basic take on the matter. But then again, uh, when you're playing as Jacko, once you're in the corner with against her and her minions, it's basically the same for every single character that you're playing. 
Unless you have like a DP or whatnot, but... Oh lord, that was an unfortunately timed uh, overdrive, but very nicely done by Norio. Is he gonna be able to seal the deal there? I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be enough, yeah. Not gonna be enough. One more mix though. One more attempt. Oh no, he had it! He had it, but he dropped it right at the end. That was so unfortunate. First match goes to Haruki, puts one on the board. Let's see if Norio can bring it back. I am sure that he will. We shall see. One, two, three. Okay, so let me check the bracket real quick. Okay, everything looking pretty good, not gonna lie. I have absolutely no... Uh, nobody summoned me in the chat, so that means that everything is going fine. Very interesting set play right there from Norio. I don't know if uh, Norio actually... Was aiming for a set play or just uh, dropped his combo? I'm not quite sure, but very nice juggle right there from how to get the side switch and the corner good positioning, yo. Let's see, goes for the low, goes for the grab this time around, gets the kill. Very nicely done. Haruki looking pretty good right now, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Norio finally finding the opening, goes for the grab, goes for the set play, and here we go with the yo yo. You can see Haruki using a lot of the FD right there to push Norio out of range so that they cannot mix uh, as efficiently as if they were right close to them. Very nice 6p though. Norio has been on point with the 6p, should be able to seal the deal and does it in a very cool fashion, not gonna lie. With a perfect by the way, good lord. How? <laughs> he was in the corner right at some point. No, 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 actually he wasn't. No, good stuff from Norio, eh? with a perfect too. So let's see this time around. It's Norio who is going to have to uh, deal with the pressure. Okay, here we go with Norio making good use of their yo-yo to hit Jacko from across the street, not caring about the minions. Here we go with the minion. Oh, okay, good stuff. Too far to get the hit. And here we go with Haruki getting the hit with the 6H right there. Ah, too late. That was an unfortunately timed Roger Bomb right here. And Haruki with the quick dust for the kill. Puts another one on the board. Is Norio gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. But for now, man, it's entirely going in Haruki's favor. Not gonna say, not gonna lie, Haruki is a very strong Jackal player. Okay, let's see how this spins out. The pressure is real, and Norio getting hit by the kickoff kick. Okay, the set play has been set. Haruki exerting. A lot of pressure right now. Ooh, out of minions, out of bars, out of everything. No minions here, but it's fine. They still have the Elysian Driver. And boom. Norio in pretty dire straight. Not gonna lie, if he loses, this one's gonna be straight for... Yep, match point. Match point it is. Let's see if Norio can bring it back. We shall see. Okay, finally. Norio getting hidden. He's got the corner positioning. There you go, Haruki. Ooh, getting opened up. Good stuff from Haruki. Uh, from Norio. No, too late for the 6P though. And here we go with the. Oh, the freaking wall bounce. Yo, that was crazy. Straight into the Illusion Driver for the hard knockdown. Kaboom! What is gonna be the mix? Norio in really dire straight. He does have a DP though. I feel like he could have DP'd there as well. Anyways, yeah, things are looking pretty dire right now. You can see how to keep uh, fishing for that DP. And unfortunately for Norio, this should be it. Yeah, big, big, big damage right there, right at the end. How do you take it? Okie dokie, breads and cookie. Hagiara versus Eto. Who is going to take it? I do believe they uh, did fight each other recently, and Hagiara actually took it. So this time around is going to be a revenge for Eto to see how he is going to be able to bring it back this time. And here we go with Hagiara's pressure, bringing it to in the corner. Ito has no other choice than to deal with this pressure. Blocking is your friend. And here we go with the grab this time around. Hagiara looking pretty good. Yeah, trying to... Definitely trying to bait that DP. Unfortunately for them, Ito was the one to get the, the, the grab into the, um, the side switch. Here we go, Ito again. Yeah, having to deal with this pressure. Yo. And the DP, yep. And it's probably gonna hold on to that burst. Yeah, you don't want to use it right now, especially with that big of a health difference. You do not want to go uh, till it go to waste. Can okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Nice juggle, yo, from Eto. That was sick, yo. Eto using the uh, burst, well, the wild assault in order to get the hard knockdown. Here we go with the cross up. Very nice blocks from Hagara. 
And it with the fake cross up, yo. The fake uh, overhead. This time around going for the tab dust for the. Oh, is that going to be enough? Yes, it is. It's with the perfect hill answering in due fashion. That is actually pretty cool. Let's see how they spent out. Nice six spirit there from Aguila. Ito noticing that Aguila was probably going to go for it. Decided to block and not commit to any attack. Oh, Lord. Ito on the verge of baiting that burst, too. That was unfortunate. Very nice block right there from Ito. He's also got the uh, the young man reflex right there to uh, notice that uh, Hagara's move had witch, uh, had whiffs and therefore decided to straight go to uh, to the grab to get the side switch. Yeah, the young man reflexes. I'm definitely too old to get this type of reflex. Anyways, here we go with Ito's pressure. Looking pretty good. Should be able to get, yep, the auto toy. Come on! <laughs> With the hard knockdown, is Hagela going to use the Reflect? No, and gets grabbed instead. And here we go, Ito with the first match. Very nicely done. Puts one on the board. What is Hagela going to do? We shall see. The good stuff from Ito, yo. Definitely not going to lie. That was pretty good. Anyways, on to the next battle. Marisa is here indeed. Marisa, you have been summoned. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the close-up pressure. Ito forced to pop the burst, though. And here we go with the grab. Hagiara, unfortunately. Hello, Xayer. You're welcome. And, uh, yep. Ito forced, uh, using the grab for the side switch. Gets another grab. And gets the freaking overhead. Not enough to kill, though. Let's see how this spins out. Yeah, Hagiara in pretty dire straight. Very nice. Uh, I do believe that's the standing HS, if I'm correct. And... <laughs> Thanks for that, much appreciated. And here we go with the juggle from it. Oh, forcing Ayala to pop the burst. Good lord. Good stuff from uh, Ayala gets the juggle and the corner pressure. Woo, gets the air to and the juggle as well. That was sick. Into the overdrive. Driver! Okay, what is gonna be the wake up from it? Oh, is he gonna. No, oh, I thought he was gonna DP. I'm really sure he was gonna DP. Ito loves to DP a lot. Ooh, nice use of the Servant right there. Oh, Ito using the yellow Roman cancel to get out of pressure. And here we go. It's pressure time, though. Oh, and the DP has been baited. Good stuff from Hagara. Finally putting one on the board. See if Ito can seal the deal or if Hagara is going to actually uh, get this match and even things out. We shall see. Okay, good stuff from Eto, making good use of the speed of of Chip in order to uh, to try to yeah to catch Hagiara off guard. Big sending H counter hit right there from Hagiara. Drops a combo though, probably didn't want the wall break maybe, but nice aerial grab from Eto goes for the tab dust into the wall combo yo. Pretty nice damage, not gonna lie. Here we go with the 6 feet again, man. You cannot jump on Hagara, yo. <laughs> you cannot jump on them. Hagara is on point when it comes to the anti airs. That being said, it is one hit away from. Ooh! Yeah, one hit away from dying. He needs to be careful. Oh, that's funny. Command grab, yo! Again. Oh, no! That was a badly timed wild assault. And just like this, Hagara puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that was so unfortunate. I feel like, yeah, he mistimed his Okizeme. He mistimed his meaty, and unfortunately, it made it so that his... Well, his first hit whiffed, obviously, and then the follow-up uh, Roman cancel, uh, the Wild Assault, was grabbable, unfortunately, for them. And Hagiara took this opportunity to just grab because he knew that Eto was close by and that one of his moves whiffed. So that was a perfect opportunity for Hagiara to reflex a grab. Finally, Eto popping the DP. Okay, nice 2D right there from Hagara to catch a back dash. And here we go, the close-up pressure. Eto getting hit right there by the minions. No more minions on deck though. But we have to kick up the the we have the uh, ground bounce pressure and combo of Hagara who goes straight into the Legion Driver for the kill. I gotta take in the lead, yo. Things are looking pretty bleak, not gonna lie. <laughs> But it's fine, it's fine, it's it though. It can definitely uh, manage. A very nice grab right there from Aigala. Ooh, that was probably a missing bullet, probably. Oh, maybe he re he read the DP, I suppose. Probably was, yeah, trying to read the DP. And <laughs> speaking of DP. 
Get back to the neutral. Ooh, Eto tried to go for the Gravio, but but I uh, yeah, I'm not having any of it. Very nice to to the uh uh and here we go with Ayala getting hit by the overhead. You hate to see it. Oh wow, the freaking uh, the mixes are gone are strong, I'm sorry. Okay, Hagera. Having to endure that wall break. Oh, trying to get a shimmy right there, but it's uh, not biting. It's uh, getting hit by the well block in the standing H. Get back to the neutral. Oh, and the trade in favor of Eto, yo! Eto not out of it yet. We have a perfect tie yet again. I feel like this one is going down to the wire as well. Like, it's probably gonna go down to the final round of the final match. I'm already calling it out. Okay, I'll get a force to pop the burst. Gets the hit with the forest. Uh, careful there. No, night 6p, man. You cannot jump on Hagera. It's impossible. And two minions on deck. Ito forced to get hit by the grab. Ito, is he gonna pop the DP? No DP. Ooh, gets hit by the kickoff kick. And this is gonna be death. Hagera taking the lead officially 2-1. to one. Very nicely done. 2-2-1 two, two, it is. Is it going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. Hopefully it will. Definitely don't want to see Ito going in the loser's bracket yet. I want to see him succeed. But then again, Hagara, you know, Hagara is no slouch. Extremely strong Jacko player. One of the best in Japan currently. And here we go with oh, the delayed overhead. Ito being cheeky right now. Feeling himself a little bit more. Look at the damage for Chip. This is actually pretty good damage. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, uh, yeah. No, wow. Hagara interrupting Ito in his track. Good lord, what a tick. What a tick. What a tick, yo. Ito taking everything. Oh, Ito finding the opening. He needs this one. He definitely needs this one. Go, Sporty. Come in, grab it, and get it. Good stuff from Ito. Using the Roman cancel to... Yeah, to... um. To surprise Hagera and then using the uh Oh wow and the burst has been baited. This is actually pretty bad for it though. Hagera has no resources to secure hard knockdown, unfortunately for them. Okay, here we go with Ooh the far S uh, again with the 6P man. <laughs> okay, and it's uh, going for the delayed overhead. Ah smelling that Hagera is Yeah. Oh Lord getting hit by the cross by the by the mix-up. Careful there. Oh, and the fake overhead. Oh, I think he got hit. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad backdash. Unfortunate for Ito. This is gonna kill. Yes, it is. That was an unfortunately timed backdash, yo. But it is what it is. Ah, uh, Hagiara on match point, by the way. If Hagiara wins this one, he sends Ito in the loser's bracket. Here we go with the juggle. Hagiara getting the hard knockdown with the wild assault. See how this spins out. Here we go to close up pressure. Ito wanting, ah, wanting out, finding out, going for the safe uh, setups, goes for the overhead. And Hagara blocking everything under the sun except the Alpha Blade. Oh wow, very nice use of the guard point, yo. And again, man, ah, uh, you are, have been armored. Okay, good, oh wow. Okay, yeah, it's back to the minion game. Oh yeah, you have to, oh no! That was so unfortunate and so taken out. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. So here we go. It's gonna be I am at help versus simple uh simple life, I'm sorry. Both very, very strong players. Uh I have had I actually didn't have the players to play either one of them on the Celestial Floor. But I have had a lot of opportunities to commentate their matches, and I can say that both are top-notch players. Uh, for, uh, well, for your information, I'm helping seating currently at, 
1907 ELO on the uh, Puddle.Farm. Well, ELO, uh, you know, it's, it's like uh, the uh, rating update match, uh, ra rating update website. And currently, Simple Life is sitting currently at 1,951 ELO. So they're pretty much like evenly matched up, both in the 1,900 tier. Uh, so this is bound to be a rather uh, close matchup, I, I suppose, between both of them. Uh, yeah. And that being said, here we go with the corner. Pressure from Simple Life, gonna get the wall break. Kaboom! Using the... Uh, overdrive, let's see what is going to be the, uh, the mix-ups. Very nice, oh, and I'm held, god there, we yellow ruin cancel baited, this is unfortunate for them. Let's see if I'm held can bring it back, we shall see. Very nice, he's right there, of the, uh, I forgot the name of this move, by the way. Good lord, and I'm a Nino main, by the way. It's the, um, god damn it, the something love, uh, wait. Oh, good lord, I forgot it. I know it's Kyoai in Japanese, but I forgot how you say it in English. Oh, good lord. This is horrible. Uh, I forgot how you say it. Anyway, her guard break move. I'm gonna look it up real quick, by the way. By the way, yeah. I know it in Japanese. Yeah, it's Kyoai in Japanese, but I forgot how you say it in, in English, though. Let me check it real quick. It's called... Good stuff from Simple Life gets the first match, by the way. Uh, Simple Life on the right hand side yo born by midnight how you doing and thank you very much arastoa for the follow and welcome to the bro joes so let me check uh not stroke not sultry not sultry not chemical love. okay mad love agitado here we go mad love agitado that's a mouthful by the way in japanese it's just kyoai so it's it's not very complicated to remember but mad love agitado i need to remember agitado i guess okay what's up Anyways, oh, it's the bro up. Yes, it is. <laughs> and here we go with the close-up pressure right there from Simple Life, who managed to get the first match, by the way. Oh, and I'm held. Got open right back up right there, getting hit by Motorcycle Roger. Good stuff. Let's see how this pans out. And we are back on track this time around. I'm held. This one to draw first blood. He's got the corner positioning, but very nice use of the uh instant block from simple life simple life nice blocks on the uh on the chemical love i'm help trying to hit simple life out of the air using the uh jumping p fortunately got hit right there by the 2s and it's a big 6p counter hit in favor of my help goes for the sultry performance gets the juggle gonna get the wall break with the chemical love Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, very nice back dash from Simple Life. If he committed to any hit, he would have gotten hit. So very nicely done. Uh, nice decision to back dash. Unfortunately for them, they are going to get hit by the Agitado. Roman canceled into death. I'm um, helped not, not out of it yet. Let's see how this spins out. Agitado right there. You have to hold it. Goes for the low this time around. Simple Life getting the mixes. And here we go with the Wild Assault to secure a uh, heavy knockdown. A very nice back dash though from Simple Life. But you can see I'm help. Oh, trying to bait that burst. The burst finally came. I'm help definitely picking up the pace. You could definitely see his style has been way more aggressive. Gets the freaking hit on the Sultry performance. Roman canceled into death. And I'm help puts one on the board as well. One to one. What is going on? We shall see who is going to take it and come out on top and send the other one in the loser's bracket. We shall see. Very nice jump in right there from Simple Life. It goes for the low this time around. Blocks everything. Ah, big 2S counter hit right there for I'm Help. Forcing Simple Life to pop the burst. And again, I'm Help with the freaking... Uh, the, the hop into the, uh, the jumping S. Intercepting Simple Life. Oh man, Simple Life fighting the opening finally with the uh, tap dust. Oh, gets the 6p counter hit. Manages to put the yo yo on deck. Simple Life doesn't want to overextend. Almost got hit by the 6p, but had the intelligence to uh, Roman cancel out of it and uh, to punish the 6p accordingly. That being said, look at that. I am help with. Oh, the Schmix is getting hit by the DP though. 
A big Roger bomb right there from uh, Simple Life. Putting one on the board. Let's see if I'm helped. Can't bring it back. We shall see. Back to the neutral. I'm helped trying to snipe with the chemical love. Goes for the agitado. Simple Life didn't check it. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, okay. Let's see how this goes out. Ah, oh, man. And, uh, ooh, nice grab right there from I'm Help. Not getting hit by the Roger command grab, yo. Good stuff from I'm Help, yo. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see how this spins out. Simple life. Ooh, wow, that was so tricky. How the freaking Lord are you supposed to block this shit? I'm definitely stealing this, by the way. Okay, simple life. We get up with DP, I think, probably. Yes. <laughs> I called it out. I called it out. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm up looking pretty good. He's got a lot of resources. Oh my god, dead right there. But yes, the 2k for the kill. As an Eno Sama player, do you enjoy others' player? Of course, I love it. Uh, Eno's for everybody. She's not just fine. <laughs> if anything, I like watching other players play her because at least I can steal some tech from them. So yeah, I'm definitely for other people playing Eno. Okay, and here we go with the corner carry from I'm Help. Gonna get that wall break and secure the hard knockdown with the... Oh, Ganman with that freaking... That was, that is a great mix, by the way. I need to I need to seal this. Okay, nice stuff right there from I'm Help. Goes for the uh, 44 Tissimo for the kill. And gets it. And I'm Help taking the lead 2-1. to one. On the verge of sending Simple Life to the loser's bracket. I mean, is it uh, more exciting to watch than other characters? Oh, yeah. I love watching uh, Eno play. I freaking love it. It's one of my... Favorite character to commentate, even though sometimes I forget the name of her moves, but now she's super fun to, to commentate. Again, here we go with the uh, the stroke, the big tree. Again, with the stroke, gonna go with you, Wild Assault. Combo for the wall break. Uh, for the wall break, good lord. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, catches the bag dash with the jumping D, and this should be it, actually. And here we go with... With I'm Helps. Looking pretty good. God help. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, big 6P, man. I'm help. Definitely feeling themselves. On the verge of sending Simple Life in the loser's bracket. Ooh, Lord. Simple Life trying to go for a shimmy. And I'm help again, Lord, with the freaking wild assault for the corner carry. Well, let's see how this spins out. One more schmix, maybe. Okay, good use of the stroke of the of the note. Oh, and that was a pretty nice air-to-air, -air, and this should be it. Yes, it is. I'm help sending uh, Simple Life in the loop. Now, Meron, very strong uh, Kai player, nevertheless. Extremely strong. Uh, actually, he managed to make top eight several times. So, yeah, definitely very strong player. So, let's see if uh, Goron is going to be able to, uh, well, to, um, uh, well, to deal with him, basically. We shall see him. Okie dokie, bread and a cookie. Let's see how this spins out. Big counter hit, close S right there from Moron, trying to bait that burst though. But Goron not giving it to them. Okay, a little bit far right there, but it's fine. Oh, Goron trying to get out of the corner using the Roman cancel. Yes, the side switch using the grab. That being said, Moron has to hold that pressure, yo. Big grab right there from Goron. Oh, and this is gonna be death. Good stuff from Goron taking the first match. The first round, I'm sorry. Let's see how this fans out. Oh, big 6p counter hit. Good stick. Stuff. Okay, finally, Moron forced to pop the burst. Good lord. Okay, here we go with. Oh, lord. Goron, lord, getting the wall break using the. Uh, well, using the uh, wild assault in order to get the wall splat and then wall break with a normal, though. That being said, Marone looking pretty good as well. Here we go with the Arbiter. Goron should be able to seal the deal, and he does with the Overdrive. This is going to be dead. Yep, no need to add an additional hit. Goron taking a clean one to the rest for now. Let's see if Marone is going to be able to even the odds, since currently everything is going Goron's way. Goron, extremely strong testament player, by the way, really. One of the top ones. In Japan, we currently have, as good Testament player, we have Goron, but we also have like the, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the VTuber who um, basically has a 
a Shiba dog as an avatar. I don't know if you know him. His name is Gekiuma uh, Shiba Inu... Gekiuma something. I forgot his name. But he also plays uh, Testament and he's one of the strongest Testament players in Japan. But Goron is also a uh, contender to be one of the best Testament players in Japan. Gekiuma, yeah. Gekiuma, te, Teiko, te, Teiken, or Ken, 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 Te, or whatever, it's something like this. I've read his name, his full name, but it's Gekiuma um, Imperial Dog. I, I really don't remember how it's said in, Jap in Japanese. But yeah, he's a very strong Testament player. Oh, he's super strong, yeah, extremely strong. And the Goron is also uh, up there with him, by the way. He's very, very strong. Uh, currently, I can actually tell you guys where is Goron on the uh, ELO level, at, at least. If he played recently, I think he did, so I'm going to tell you guys right now. So we have Goron sitting at... <clears throat> Actually, he hides his ELO. Ah, come on, Goron. Yekiuma. Maybe I can check uh, the, the dog. What is the name? Uh, here we go. Ten one chan, yeah. Ten ko. Ah, damn it. How do you read this freaking name? Tente one chan. Here we go. Gekiuma Tente one chan. So Tente one chan sits at 2041. Uh, Elo. But Goron is probably like around that as well. Extremely strong, you know. Very, very strong testament player. And I mean, to get like 2000 Elo with testament, you have to be good. <laughs> like, you, there's no going around it. Like, seriously. Anyways, that being said, here we go. And oh, Lord! Go on, what? The wake up overdrive. Getting the. Freaking juggle! He's gonna be able to get it. Ah, I think he's safe. Oh wow, well, well, what happened? Wow, okay, you go on using the uh, the TP and over there to be safe, not enough to kill though. Oh Lord, Maron with the wake up DPO and gets it by the skull. You hate to see it. Go on taking the lead two to zero, a very, a very significant lead, if I might say as well. So let's see how uh, Maron is going to be able to bring it back, cause yeah, down two to zero is not fun. It's definitely not easy as well. But if anybody can do it, it's definitely Moron. Definitely no slouch. Oh, very nice forest right there from Moron. Gonna get the wall break. Boom! Very nicely done. Moron going with the close S. Trying to encourage Goron to press a button. Big stun dip right there from Moron. Gotta get the dribble and the kill. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see if Goron can seal the deal. Definitely want to see Goron do a little bit more right now. Oh, big, big hit right there on the uh, uh, the Stun Edge Age version. Look at the damage too. Damn, that did a heck ton of damage. Goron is going to have to burst this one if he do doesn't want to hit die. And he's going to die with it. Yeah, I I, I called it. He had to, to burst right there if he didn't want to die. Unfortunately, he didn't. But yeah. Holy damage, Batman. Yeah, that was crazy, yo. Goron, CDM, Korean test player too. Testament Ghost. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. And here we go with the direct claw. Moron with the close-up pressure gets the grab. Sometimes you gotta employ go next mentality. Yeah, for sure. But unfortunately, there wasn't any next mentality. <laughs> there wasn't a next round, unfortunately, for this one. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's so crazy. Yeah, he's Moron. Very strong. Uh, test uh, very strong Kai player. Not the best, but uh, definitely up there. But yeah, currently, uh, as you all know, the best uh, Kai player is definitely Chulana in Japan, that is. You also have... Um, what's their name again? Uh, damn it. What's his name? Uh, I, Ein. Ein-san as well. Ein, who is a very strong Kai player as well. Ooh, very nice bait. <gasps> wow, not only got the bait on the burst, but also managed to get uh, the juggle from the projectile that Goron had out at the time. Ein Rose, ah, oh, Rose, Rose is a beast. Yeah, he is, he is. For sure, for sure. Rose is a beast. I keep forgetting him all the time. Also, that's the, the worst part of it. I know that Rose is a freaking beast, but I always forget he exists. I don't know why. But he's super strong, yeah. I wish he participated to more uh, tournaments, like to more majors and whatnot, because we don't see him very often, unfortunately. But yeah, very strong. Extremely strong, yeah. Ein Rose, uh, Chulala. And man, Ro damn, going on sealing it up. 3 to 0, yo. This is the match of the, uh, well, basically of the game, I mean, <laughs> like, freaking Kai versus Sol is the emblematic uh, match, just like Ken versus Ryu or all of these, uh, you know, emblematic matches. Uh, so, let's see, yeah, Rose is very low-key for sure, yeah. Goron didn't take kindly to losing that game, super strong for, for sure, man. Goron is no slouch at all. 
Yeah, I feel like he, if he played like a stronger character, he definitely like he definitely like picks some names for sure. But unfortunately for him, like well, not unfortunately for him because he, he wants to play Testament, but well, he plays Testament, so <laughs> unfortunately for him, he has some issues. But yeah, look at that. Yeah, if you want to see a very good Kai player, by the way, this is your man Hakure Lemu, extremely strong. He uh, almost won a Brojo Cup previously. Uh, unfortunately, lost to I forgot who it was, but. Uh, ever since Hakure Lemu started uh, participating to the Brojo Cup, he has been making consistent top eight placements. So definitely a very strong, uh, a very strong Kai uh, user uh, that you definitely want to keep, uh, well, to keep uh, tabs on because yeah, that, he's very entertaining to watch play as well. But yeah, as you can see, Roy has no quirks in pressing buttons on his wake up at all. <laughs> And I'm not even speaking of wake up DP, just wake up normal hits. Very nice DP right there from Roy. And again with the DP from Roy. Roy loves them DP. I think the only online tourney Ross joins is... Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. He's a, yeah, I think he's a team tourney enthusiast. He doesn't really like, I guess, single player teams. Uh, single player tournaments. I, uh, single player tournaments, yeah. Probably not. I, I don't really know. But anyways, we go with Hakure Lemu using the uh, Wild Assault in order to get a hard knockdown. Okay, I used the blue Roman cancel maybe to see what Roy was uh, gonna do on his wake up. That being said, Hagare Lemu used a lot of resources right there in order to get the wall bridge but not secure a hard knockdown, which might come back to bite him in the butt. But, oh man, and Roy, yo, Roy holding on to this burst even though he was he was going to die if he didn't burst. But yeah, he, he called bullshit on. Hakure Lemu called his bluff out and successfully so, but unfortunately got opened with... Got killed by the next opening, unfortunately for him. He's an offline single tourney enjoyer, yeah, for sure. I don't see him in lots of uh, offline uh, tournaments though, unfortunately. Big DP again from Roy, man, this dude. This dude knows no restraint, goes very deep in order to get the close S. Here we go, the close-up pressure, Roy, big 6PO from Hakure Lemu. Ah, uh, tries to go for a grab, but Roy sniffing that bait, that that grab attempt out. Gets hit by the stun edge, though, the stun dipper, though. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go, the wall break. Boom, direct left for the wall break. Okay, here we go, the bandit bringer. The bandit revolver catching. How could I back that shit a wee bit too much? Drop right there, very uh, uncharacteristic from Roy getting hit by the tab dust. And how could I goes for the safe... Uh, the burst bait, but uh, unfortunately Roy finds the perfect timing in order not to get hit by it, but gets hit by the tab dust. In the end, this is untrue fortune. He's actually won some. Yeah, I totally trust you. I'm sure he does, but uh, the ones that I have been to, I've almost never seen Rose. So yeah, definitely looking forward to see him uh, come, or, uh, come over, because he's a very strong Kai player. But anyways, here we go with the DP again with Roy, man. Not afraid. Ooh, gets hit by the DP of his own, of uh, Hakure Lame's own. And Hakure Lemu with the juggles goes for the... Oh lord, the freaking instant overhead uh, combo right there. But nice blocks from Roy, nothing like Big 2D counter hit from Roy gets the juggle. Should be able to get the wall break and gets it with the Tyrant Ray. Scores wrong by the... Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yes, yes, you're totally right. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's uh, one for Hakure Lemu. Thank you very much for... Uh, the heads up, Miss uh, Miss Loop, much appreciated. So let's see uh, if Hakure Lemu can manage to. Yeah, he will actually. Here we go, two to zero for Hakure Lemu on the verge of sending Ibushiki Loy in the losers bracket. Is he gonna do so? We shall see. The next, uh, if the one who manages to win this match is going to make his way to the uh, winners semifinal, by the way, so securing a spot in the top eight. Oh, big 6PL from Hakure Lemu calling bullshit out right there. And Hak Damn, Roy waking up with the standing K2. That is pretty crazy. Big stun dip right there from Hakure Lemu. Should be able to get the, ju the juggle, but that's not unfortunate. Okay, big 4S counter hit. Roy almost getting the conversion. And messes up his mix, yo. Good lord. That's fine. Oh, big 2S counter hit. Big Volcanic Viper. And here we go with Roy going for the safe setup. Goes for the safe jump setup. Too far to get the far HS though. Oh, big to the end. Here we go with Roy with the extension station. Getting the uh, the first round of this fourth match. This third match, actually. So 
So let's see how this spins out. Oh, big gun flame. <laughs> oh, how could I wake up with a DP? Roy also, I smell the DP from Roy. Okay, nice for us, yo, from... How could I lame him? Getting the full combo and the wall break. Getting the wall break with the secret edge. We go the jump in. What happened? I don't understand what happened, but Roy is going to die bef because of it. Thankfully, he does have a full gauge, a full burst gauge, but things are looking pretty sour for him, not gonna lie. This is match point. If Roy does not win this one, he will be sent in the loser's bracket. Big forest counter. Oh, getting hit by the bandit bringer. We're gonna close oh, the close up pressure and the wild assault, yo. You can smell that Roy definitely wants this match right here. Big direct claw, big wall break, double direct claw right there. Let's see how this spins out. Nice block on the stun dipper. And ha, could I lay getting hit by the jumping HS? It's anybody's game. Oh, too far, yo. Very nice use of the freaking. Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah, things are looking pretty bad. Big 2D. Oh, he gets the juggle. And Ro should be able to seal the deal and gets it. Wow, that really, really, really was close. That was a close call for Roy. Let's see if he can bring it in a more, you know, uh, easy manner in the coming matches. We shall see. Good blocks right down. Big DP from Roy. Oh, okay, here we go to 2k 2d from Roy. He got the forest. Okay, good stuff. He gets the juggle and the wall break with the wild assault for a guaranteed hard knockdown. Goes for the safe jump. Big bandit bringer and it's the freaking mix time. Still manages to block it. You know, how move, but unfortunately gets grabbed. Oh, Lord. Nice backdash. Okay, if he manages to make a. If he manages to make a comeback, I am going to be completely surprised. Oh, man. Is he going to make it? Oh, that was an unfortunate. Yeah, that wasn't the best uh, finisher for the wall break. Here we go, the Stun Dipper. <sighs> nice block. Oh, the Stun Dipper. Not over till it's over. Roy is definitely going to burst. Yeah, for sure. He had to. Oh, and the grab. And how did I leave him in the freaking comeback? That was sick. That was sick. Oh, okay. He wanted the shock state. Okay, my bad. That makes sense. It does make sense. Man, that comeback from Hakulele. Oh, that was sick. And big DPO from Roy says, I had enough. But Hakulele, yo. That was basically a reverse perfect. Yeah, exactly. That was crazy, yo. That was a crazy comeback, man. I'm going to have to put this on the... Uh, on the... How do you call it? On the highlights for sure. I'm going to put the highlights. That was sick from Hakurei man, that freaking comeback. That, yeah, that, that is definitely the highlight reel. That was the highlight, the, the highlight of the, the, the tournament for now, at least. That was really crazy. That being said, Roy is definitely not happy about it. He definitely <laughs> has his work to say. And look at the freaking blocks from Hakurei Leima, that is crazy. I heard the highlight. <laughs> and you're right, we're gonna call this shit the highlight. You're totally right. This is the highlight of the match of the of the night, bro. <laughs> Good lord. Anyways, let's see how this spins out. So oh, big vortex from Ibushi Gin Lloyd. That did a ton of damage, by the way. Okay, Roy definitely wants this one. Oh, again with the DP. Roy is definitely out of his mind right now. Gonna go for the juggle. Should be able to get the wall break. Boom. Yes, he does. The highlight. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And here we go with the fully charged dust. Hakurei not out of this yet. Should be able to get the wall break. And he's gonna have the wall break. Let's see how this spins out. Nice grab right there from Hakurei Lemu. Ah, goes for the blue. Roman cancel. Make sh... Oh, it goes for... Oh, damn it. Is that gonna be it? No, he drops it. Oh, this is not how you want to finish it. And the grab. That was such a cheeky grab at the end. That was... Good stuff, Hagera versus Goron. Let's see how this pans out. That shimmy was crazy. The run-up grab, the Kai Tech wins. Hakurei Lemu both around. Indeed. You're not a Kai player if you don't go... If you don't go right across the screen just to grab your opponent. You're not a Kai player if you don't do this. Anyway. <laughs> I love the Kai meme. Like, that happened such a long time ago, maybe two years ago, where you see a Kai player 
just running straight like toward uh, uh, across like every single stage of Guilty Gear's Drive and ends up right in front of Salt and grabs him. <laughs> and that's the disclaimer you have like this is the basic Kai meta or something. It was so funny. Like I I, I want to see this meme again. This is this is one of the best freaking Twitter posts I've ever seen in, in Guilty Gear's Drive. <laughs> It's such a funny one, too. Anyway, that being said, here we go with Goron in the corner, man. Applying some pressure right there, forcing Hagiara to pop the... And we have a lot of fucking lag. Holy freaking lord, what is what is going on? I mean, it's accurate to reality, for sure. I hope the lag is just temporary and it's not going to uh, be a recurrent e error. But yeah, we had like a... We had like a freaking... Oh, man, the shimmy! The big shimmy right there! What is going on?! What the hell? <laughs> This match is too violent, like my... <laughs> the, the servers are not holding... Uh, they are not holding my dice get vision yet. I mean, it's actually to reality. Oh, for sure, man, for sure. The lag is crazy, yeah. It's really, really crazy. Dice get vision. I hope it's gonna be okay. I hope we're the only one feeling the lag too, and not them. If it's them, then it might be problematic. Okay, nice stuff right there from Hagera! Should be able to seal the deal, and it's gonna seal the deal, good lord! Kaboom! Driver! Man, how you gotta bring it back, yo? Bringing it back, yo? Oh, sick. Oh, Summit Sun! Everybody say hi to Summit! Again, here we go with the next round. As you can see, Hagera actually took this one. Uh, Goron was on the verge of taking it, but Hagera was uh, was actually uh, able to steal it back, unfortunately for them. And here we go with the wall break of Goron using the overdrive. He should be able to get a hard knockdown, goes for the low, and gets the juggle. Hagera probably not going to burst this one, and gets hit by the 6HS for the kill. Very nicely done by, uh, by Goron. So let's see who is going to take that the last round. We shall see. Nice use of the servants, the minions, in order to catch Goron out of the air. There we go with this trade. Nice back dash right there from Goron. Goes for the skull. Ah, he definitely wants to curse. Ah, wants to get rid of the minions first though. And it's no easy task. Okay, good stuff right there. And Goron with the probably the character knowledge right there. Definitely seems uh quite used to this matchup. Okay, nice 6P. Managed to hit Hagera out of it. Gonna get a full juggle. Okay, boom! And goes for the safe mix-up. Nice grab, though, from Hagera, yo. And gets the low. Ooh, page the burst. And this is gonna be death. Good stuff from Hagera. Puts one on the board. 1-0. to zero. Good luck. Poor, poor Goron. This, this burst really felt bad for him, I feel. Hopefully it's gonna be, um... Hopefully it's gonna be okay for them. Uh, so let's see how this pans out. Is Goron going to be able to shift the tide of battle? Hagera definitely showcasing some pretty good proficiency at the Testament matchup. But that being said, Goron also seemed pretty acquainted with the matchup. So yeah, but it's still hard to deal with the servants. Really not gonna lie. And here we go to close up pressure. Close up pressure again. Ah man, Goron tried to go for the 6 speed, but the startup was a little bit too long. Gonna get hit by the. Elysian Driver! Big damage for Hagara. Also gets the hard knockdown. Goes for the freaking whistle blow to catch Goron off guard and manages to get the hit. Good stuff from Hagara. Let's see. Hagara not afraid to go straight ahead, man. Okay, nice blocks. Good, nice tick. Okay, Goron needs to make something happen right now. Okay, he has pretty good spacing, but yeah. Oh man, just dealing with Jacko is no easy feat. Oh lord, how got I using the guard point manages to get the hit in. And here we go with the freaking bait of the grab. I got out with the Legion Driver. What is Goron gonna do? Yeah, you can see I got a little bit afraid to. Ah oh, man, goes for the grab and gets it. Hagara, cheeky Hagara, man. Good stuff. Okay, Hagara up to the zero. Goron is going to need to make something happen if he wants to say in the winner's bracket. If not, he's going to be sent in the losers. Let's see how this pans out. 
Okay, our top 8 is almost decided, by the way. A big 2K TD right there from Agatha gets the kickoff in the corner with the wall bounce. Oh, big 6H. That did a, that did a ton of damage. Good stuff from Godon. Okay, Godon trying to get a reaction right there, but Agatha holding strong. Wow, gets a pretty ambiguous cross up too. This is gonna be out. Yeah, Illusion Driver for the kill. Driver! And this is gonna be death. Yep. Oh, wow! Godon! Uh, I don't know if that was... Yeah, I don't think that was the correct answer. Ah, uh, probably Goron got annoyed right here. That is unfortunate. Ah, uh, starting, like, the final round... Well, this is match point, by the way, so... Goron starting the match point with absolutely zero resources is probably gonna come and bite him in the butt. Let's see how this spins out. Big 6 speed -o. Oh, Lord, and I 6 speed you back. I get up. Going for the minion pressure. Good on, man. Oh, good lord. Oh! And just like this, man. Hi, get up. Eliminating. Well, not eliminating. That being said, for now, this is the last uh, semifinals uh, on the winner's side match of the day. The one who wins this one will make their way to the winner's final of the winner's bracket. And after this, we shall be uh, going on to the loser's bracket for the remaining of the top eight. And, and uh, once this is done, move on to the winner's final, then the loser semi-final, loser's final, the, and then we'll move on to the grand final. So we have a lot of matches right now. We have about, like, let's say, I suppose, uh, five to seven, five to six to seven matches left. Probably closer to seven than, than five, though. Yeah, anyways, that being said, here we go. The match has started. Let's see how this pans out. I'm held taking their time. They don't want to overextend, not get hit by a stray stun dipper, which they just did, by the way. <laughs> and here we go with the wall break. Okay, and here we go. Yeah, I'm held trying to get the hit in. Trying to initiate the... Oh, Lord. Nice block from I'm held. Oh, goes for the stroke. Gonna go for the low. Not using the wild assault. Wow, that was super ambiguous, by the way. Good stuff from I'm Help. Gonna go for the uh, Wild Assault to get the hard knockdown. Wow, man, that could have been pretty bad. No oh, big 2S counter hit. And this is gonna be death. Good stuff from I'm Help gets the first match pretty convincingly, not gonna lie. Nice stroke right there, goes for another stroke. Definitely noticed that Hakure Lemu was standing a little bit too often and needed to check his knees sometimes. So yeah, as you can see, ooh, nice jump in right there from Agurele. We're gonna get a full combo in the corner with a hard knockdown. Finally, I'm held for Bob the Burst. Oh, again with the Sun Deprio. And here we go with Hakule Lemu and the wall break. Decides to keep their tension bar. Ah, goes for a fake. Uh, instant overhead, a blue Roman and cancel. Um, well, caught the setup, which caught I'm help off guard. Obviously, big stroke right there from I'm help. Decided not to extend with either a agitado or a uh, chemical look. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, a little too far for the agitado, but thankfully too far to get hit consistently by the follow up of the uh, stun edge right there from Hagre Lane. Okay, wall break it is. Big. Oh, Lord. I almost got the dragon. That would have been so crazy, y'all. I would have called him Darino. Okay, good stuff. And here we go. I'm help force to. Yeah, pop the yellow room and cancel. Nice blocks from Hagure Leimudo. There we go with the safe jump. Setup goes for the low and should be able to get the kill. Good stuff from I'm help. Gets the first match, actually. Here we go. Let's see if Hakure Neimu can put one on the board as well. We shall see. Isn't that the 2 0 actually? Now that I think about it, it might be 2 0 now that I think about it. Oh, we'll see. If uh, I'm help winch this one and he wins, then it, it, it was 2 0. Oh, yeah, anyways. Ah, too far right there. To get the chemical love to connect. That being said, here we go to direct law. I'm help with the beautiful spacing goes for. Ah, Lord, yeah. Doesn't want to work stand, but finally gets hit again by the stunnage. 
the Sun Dipper, I'm sorry. Big damage right there. Okay, let me pretty looking pretty good. Goes for the Stun Decay. To nullify not only the uh, Stroke Attempt, but also the Agitado. It covers both options at once. It is a very, very nice uh, tool for Kai. And it's a little bit less good for Eno, but I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Here we go to Stun Edge. Oh, too far to uh, get the whiff punish. Nice stroke right there from I'm Help. Gonna go for safe jump. Nice blocks though from Akunele. Ah, catches the back dash right there. Goes for a setup. And this time, Akunele uses some bar in order to. Oh, Lord. Big 6 PO. Ah, gets the freaking. No, no, drops it, yo. Not like this. Good stuff from I'm Help. Oh wow, and the 2P, and this should be killed. No, the Barbara! And still the kill using the tab dust. Good stuff from Hakurele. Puts one on the board. 1-2-1. One, one. Very nicely done. Let's see if Hakurele can put another one on the board. Big stun edge. Oh wow. Nice clash. Thankfully for I'm Help. Ah, I'm Help getting hit by the forest though. Good stuff, yo. Uh, how could I let me checking every single attempt of I'm held to get in using the um, using the hover. Ah, Lord, here we go with the freaking grab. Yeah, I'm held forced to yeah, first a block, and here we go with I'm help and trying to gain some freaking trying to gain some ground, but man. Is it hard to get in when Hagure Lemu is defending though? Okay, finally. Good lord, ah, the blocks are real, yo. Hagure Lemu is super solid, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, good stuff. Finally, I'm help managing to find an opening. Okay, big 6P though, and this should be the kill. Yes, it is, yeah. Good stuff from I'm help. On the verge of taking this uh, third match as well. The big trade in favor of Unheld though. Here we go with the jump in. Big DP from Agure Lemu. Ooh, the spacing though from Agure Lemu. Gets a full combo, punishing the stroke attempt from Unheld. Oh lord, but yeah. The O oh, again with the wake up DP from Agure Lemu. Well, actually, DP in the block string, and Agure Lemu should be able to take it. We have a perfect tie, ladies and gentlemen. One match apiece, one round apiece. Let's see who is going to take it. We shall see. Very nice full assist. Catches the back dash. Attempt from I'm Help. This is going to do a lot of damage. Especially added to that the fact that I'm Help is going to have to endure a hard knockdown. Big instant overhead. Blue Roman cancel. And straight into the uh, right the lightning in order to prevent I'm Help from having any sword of chance to pop the burst and Hakure Lemu takes the lead to the one and I'm gonna be right back ladies and gentlemen Okie dokie, sorry for the wait. Things are looking pretty even right now. Oh, but, 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 commentator's curve. <laughs> Good stuff from Hakure Lemu baiting that burst right there using the Roman cancel in order to do so. And here we go with Hakure Lemu using a lot of the standing K in order to cover both hover attempts, uh, stroke attempts, and Ajitado attempts from I'm Help. And yeah, the standing uh, K of. Uh, Kai is super strong against Eno because it covers a lot of her options at the same time. And it's really quick to recover, so very hard to whiff punish. So yeah, very, very nice option to use against Eno if you're playing Kai. Just stand K sometimes. Just occasionally, you know. You can come across like a stray stroke or... Oh, wow. Nice grab attempt right there from... Well, nice grab actually from... I'm help and Hagure Lemu using... Oh, wow. And just like mistaken or not i'm not quite sure anyway 
Uh, Moron right now rocking Kai, his signature Kai, by the way. So let's see how this spins out. So, uh, yes, we have our top eight, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We also, we already had our top eight, but now we have it like uh, for sure cemented, <laughs> if I might say. So it's going to be none other than Hagyara, Goron, Hakulele, Mu, I'm Help, Ron, Kohide, Mugi, and Ito. This is our top eight currently. So yeah, definitely looking forward to see how this is going to pan out. And that being said, here we go with the start of the match with Kohide. Already drawing first blood, getting the whiff punishes. Gonna go for the wall break. Actually, no need for the wall break for the kill. And gets the perfect with... Well, gets the kill with a perfect. You had a, We have a lot of Kais today. Yeah? <laughs> so let's see if one of them can make their way deeper into the bracket. We shall see. Uh, well, currently, Hakure Lemu is sitting in the winner's bracket. So he's literally like at the best possible position, if I might say. Ah. <clears throat> Yo, do you want? Do you want to know the song? Uh, what what command do you want to know? Do you want? Ah, the song. Uh, so for this, you just type this like this, and then you can have it. Hopes and dreams save the world. Undertale. <clears throat> You're welcome. Okay, and here we go with the second match. Oh, and Kohide with the gold burst. Yo, this man is not afraid. And here we go with Moron catching that back dash, though. And Kohide is actually leading, really? I think he has, like, the first match, I think. And here we go with the wall break from Moron. Doing some pretty nice damage. Okay, nice grab right there from Kohide. Oh, and goes for the freaking option select. Catching Moron. Waking up DP, and this is going to do a ton of damage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage, is that even legal? Good lord! Ah, it goes for the pointed this time. And the uh, freaking ride the lightning! Ah, okay, yeah, this is death. Good stuff from Moron. Yeah, he had to go for it eventually. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see how this spins out. Cool, he did not out of this yet. Not by a long run. No, too far to get the wave punish. Ooh, nice spacing from Moron. Manages to get the punish on the... Uh, the cannon drive, the cannon drill. And here we go with the Nasante for the wall break. Ooh, Lord. Oh, it low profiles the stun edge, too. That's pretty cool. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, nice cross up right there from Koide. Gets the corner position. Goes for the grab. Oh, Lord. Straight into the Bintanya for the kill. Koide looking very violent today, not gonna lie. Not happy of having been sent in the loser's bracket so early, so... Now, he wants to make it up. Unfortunately for him, he got grabbed. Maron going for the jump in. Ooh, gets the burst on the freaking golden burst, man. That was the, gets the bait on the golden burst. That is crazy. That was really, really crazy. Good stuff from Maron, from uh, Koida. From Maron, I'm sorry. And it should do. Yep, it is gonna do. Maron taking the second match with the ride the lightning for added mental damage. Good stuff from Moron. One to one. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, Kohide is one ruthless and violent player, yeah, and that's why we love him. <laughs> Anyways, here we go on to the third match. Big standing H, though, from Kohide. Oh, goes for the 6P and gets the hit. Here we go with the juggle and Kohide with the wall, but boom. See how this spins out. Now, Kohide with the ins and outs. Gonna get the grab. Gets another grab as well. Gets a closest. Oh, could have gotten the kill. But Moron. Oh! Moron with the blocks. Goes for the yellow room and cancel. In order to get the momentum back. Oh, Koide not blocking that cross up though. Need to see it. Yeah, you can see Moron trying to get the bait. Oh! 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 You can see Moron trying to grab the bait. Well, what was that? The triple. <laughs> the triple juggle in the corner. That was pretty funny. Okay, okay, it's not over till it's over. Nah, the grab for the kill. Yep, that's over. Good stuff from Kohide. Man, steals it right at the end, yo. That must have been a hard break from Maron, man. But it's fine. Here we go with Maron getting the knockdown. Let's see. Oh, good stuff. Gonna get the stun edge age version. Here we go with the grab. Ah, oh, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Kohide's not gonna... Koide was not gonna burst there. Well, I think so. 
Huida is pretty stubborn. He might have burst there, actually. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. The perfect from Maron. Very nicely, though. I saw Chirara do that triple juggle in the 3 versus 3 tournament last night, and he also lost around immediately. I think that's the... Let's call it the, the cursed setup, then. <laughs> the cursed setup. The cursed Kai setup. <laughs> Good lord. Anyways, here we go with... With Giovanna with the wall break. Look at the damage, though. That's a pretty hard knockdown, too. Okay, nice use of the Reflect Shield into the Stun Dipper. Let's see if this is... Uh, oh, I think he committed to a hit. No, he did it! But it's fine. Koita does that. Ooh, nice jump out right there from Maron. Oh, Maron getting... No, he drops it! But it's fine, it's fine. He still catches the bag that she's in the closest. Wow, Maron up two to one, yo! One more match and Maron will be eliminating Kohide. Let's see if this pans out. How? Let's see if this works out. Oh, big for it. Just again from Kohide. Okay, Maron catching that back dash though. Okay, here we go to close-up pressure. I'm curious to see Maron's... Uh, I'm curious to see Maron's... Uh, how do you call it? Ah, I thought the name. Elo. I'm gonna check it real quick. I don't know. Maron has a 2033 Kai, by the way, so extremely strong Kai. But that being said, I can say that, uh, like, Kohide is like 2100 or something, if I'm correct. Yeah, Kohide is, sits at 2108 uh, ELO, whereas Maron sits at 2033 ELO. So they're relatively close to each other. Hey, good shit, good shit, good stuff. Let's see how this fans out. And oh, Kohita dropping it, but it's still fine. Gets the juggle into the Ventania for the kill. Very nicely done. And here we go with the kill. Kohita definitely wants to even the tides. Wants to get that kill. Wants to get that match. Ooh, nice juggle. Ah, but here we go with... Oh, Kohita, yo, getting... Oh, again with the bait on the yellow... The golden Roman cancel on the golden burst, I'm sorry. But man, yeah, Maron has not been able to to capitalize off of these uh off of these uh these opportunities though. So let's see how this spins out. Nice tap does man. Koide. What what are you doing? What's happening? What happened? Why didn't Why didn't Maron that, that he still got it, but why did he do anything there? That was so strange. It actually it synced with it synced with Sephiroth <laughs> BGM. It was pretty funny. I, it, it felt like Sephiroth was gonna appear on the on the screen. I was like, whoa, shit. <laughs> shit just got real, you know? <laughs> it was so funny. Anyways, here we go with Kohide and the wall break. Sephiroth jump scare. Yeah, for sure, man. I thought like Sephiroth was gonna appear and like kill both of the, the characters, you know? <laughs> that was a pretty fun timing, right? It wasn't just me who thought that, right? <laughs> You see Maron like stopping right in his track when he had the kill and then Sif and Sephiroth's BGM just starting. I was like, what the hell is happening? No, I was scared. <laughs> Anyways, Kohide got the got the wall break. Ah man, and Kohide is sticking to Maron, man. Oh Maron waking up with the DP! If she needs to make something happen, it is now or it is never before Sephiroth happens to appear on the screen. Do it, Maron, do it! Now here we go with the Roman cancel, man, and... Oh, Lord, not enough to kill, and here we go with the kill. The Giovanna. Kohide evening things up. Two matches, two, uh, yeah, two, 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 two match. Um, how do you call it? Two match, uh, 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 uh damn it, how the freak do you say this? Uh, anyways, they both have two matches, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> so good stuff. Uh, the tie has been accomplished by Kohide. Let's see if he manages to... To match a piece. Yeah, here you go, here you go. To match a piece. That's what I was searching for. Thank you very much. To match a piece, yes. I'm losing my English, man. I haven't been... Well, I have been speaking English a lot these days, but yeah, my... My, my brain just isn't working correctly, I suppose, today. That being said, here we go with Kohide with the perfect, yo. Good lord, on match point this time around. Speaking of losing, we're on right now. Yeah, I know, right? I'm I'm kind of rooting for Maron. I'm not gonna lie, cause I like I like his playstyle. It's pretty entertaining. But then again, Koita is also pretty entertaining. So, oh wow. Okay, and here we go with Maron getting the six P. It's not over till it's over. Now. Here we go with the jump in. Maron trying to get to that back dash. Ooh, ooh, the standing feel. 
man, this is drop but here we go with the cannon drill going straight through the stun edge though. Straight into the Ventania 40 hard knock down yo. We've had some pretty uh some very dominant back and forth rounds, loss of purpose for sure. That's what's really fun. And here we go with Moron and the the the, the side switch. Okay, this could go anywhere. Koid is waking up with the overdrive, I can guarantee you. Or not. Okay, I lied. Ah! Not like this, Moron. This is over. It's over. It's over. It's death. Yeah, it's death. It's over. It's over, yeah. Good stuff from Kohide, man. Taking three to two. By the way, Mugi has officially uh, changed mains. Used to be a... Uh, what's it called? A uh, Nagoriyuki main, but now he swapped for Slayer. So definitely looking forward to see how his Slayer pans out. I did play against Mugi on the Celestial floor. I did beat him with Slayer, by the way. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious to see how he's going to play right now. <laughs> he's probably way stronger than I am right now because it was like the first or second day, you know, and I, I played Slayer more than he did at that particular point in time. So, uh, but just for curiosity's sake, let me check real quick the uh, Mugi's elo. And also one thing is that I ran uh, across Eto twice in tournaments when I was using Slayer and twice in a tournament I lost. So if Mugi beats Eto, I think it's fairly safe to say that uh, Mugi is stronger than I am. And yeah, he has a Slayer of 1,970 though, currently. But yeah, nah, things are looking pretty bleak right now, not gonna lie. Good stuff from Eto, not gonna lie. And Eto currently sits at, uh, I'm curious, actually, let's check it out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Eto sits at... Ah, Eto in, in Katakana, uh, in Sh Katakana. Eto sits at 1932, so he's still a little bit over uh, Mugi, but it's relatively close. It's health bar melting time for sure, yeah. One hit and Chip's bar is going to melt away for sure. Time to learn Nago and, and beat Mugi as well. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Nice grab right there from Eto, not gonna lie. Uh, Nago is S tier, but people keep dropping him and we haven't even seen any of them in major top 8s of late. Yeah, I know. But uh, I think most people were really interested in, in Slayer. So I think some people decided to just drop Nago to try their hands with Slayer just to see how he feels. And if they don't like him, they're probably going to go back to to, uh, to um, Nagoriyuki eventually. But yeah, I know, I know that people are dropping uh, Nagoriyuki in, in Troves. I don't understand why. Because for me, the character is still like very, very fucking strong. It has a lot of really bullshit mechanics to him right now. And yeah, I still don't understand why people tend to to drop him at all. For me, like, for me, Nago is stronger than than uh, what's his name, than um, Slayer. He has like better a better matchup chart in general. Because Slayer does have some pretty bad uh, matchups. Everybody that like outranges him and uh, can zone him is really really annoying to deal with. Also, people who have like uh, Leo is absolutely horrible to fight with Slayer because. Leo just needs to DP on reaction every time that he sees you uh, do a dandy step. So it's pretty much like overall that you cannot use dandy step against Leo. So yeah, I don't know. Like, um, I, I feel like I feel like Nagoriki is definitely viable still for sure. For me, like Nago is definitely like top here for sure. No questions asked. But as you can see, yeah, Boogie is definitely um, hurting a bit. But he decided to go full on Slayer. He doesn't want to go back to uh, to to Nagoriyuki, so we'll see. Is Patekim still a good match against Slayer? I don't know... I, I can, what I can tell you, Mystic Pyro Freak, is that I'm a I'm a Eno main, and I much rather play Potemkin, the Potemkin matchup with my Eno than with my Slayer, for sure. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. So, I, I think that Potemkin probably has the advantage. I'm not quite sure, don't quote me on this, I'm, like, I'm not like a prominent player or anything, but for me, I had a lot more trouble dealing with Potemkin using Slayer than I had when I used uh, you know for sure. It's not even it's not even comparable. Like, but then again, like Pot is a is a good matchup for for you know for sure. Like you know shits on Pot like every day, <laughs> every day of the week. I can I can tell you for sure. Uh, but anyways, that being said, here we go with the grab. McGee still has oh goes for the grab again the command oh he tries to go to get for another one gets a wow no more health bar for you sir <laughs> where did your health bar go <laughs> Mugi finally gets something started yeah universe ah but gets a jump in started as well unfortunately now ah, this is gonna be pretty bad here we go with Mugi getting card knocked down see how this pans out now oh, nice blocks for Mugi oh. 
Okay. okay, nice sweep right there. Ooh! Goes for the fake cross up, yo. That was good shit. Here we go to jump in. Tries to go for the tap dust. Oh, Lord! Yo, no, you should have stopped there. Oh, good luck. What's gonna happen? Oh! Oh, the double dash! That was so cheeky! That was so cheeky from Moogie! The double dash! Oh, wow! That was sick! Good stuff from, uh... Good stuff from, from Moogie, yeah. That was really, really nice. Slayer is a magician because he makes your health bar disappear. I, I agree. I totally agree with you. It's so fun playing Slayer because of that, specifically. It, especially against character who, like... Take a ton of setups and a ton of mix-ups to kill you, like, like, uh, well, like Chip or like, uh, or more specifically Milia. You see the Milia, like she does all of these shenanigans, all of these setups that the player has like practice, like for hours and hours in training mode. And you're here with your Slayer, you touch her twice and she dies, and <laughs> you can't help but just like laugh at it. <laughs> it's pretty funny, you know. Even Chip at that some at some point, you know, it's pretty funny. But uh, thank you very much for the follow, F, 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 oh my lord, Ephemeral Zen. I, that was so hard for me to say. Thank you very much for the follow, much appreciated. That being said, here we go with the overdrive from Eto, gonna get the hard knockdown. And currently, Moogie is in the lead, actually. Yeah, he actually is in the lead, so definitely getting used to stuff right now. Here we go with, oh lord, too late to get the grab. Nice jump, oh, and the back dash, and he even caught the, oh, this is death. This is death. Boom! Pow Bunker, get out of here, kid. Good stuff from Moogie taking the lead 2 to 0. 2 to 1, actually. To touch kills, Milia, Chip. Yeah, outplayed kill. Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, man. It's exactly that. <laughs> but I'm saying this because I absolutely hate the Milia matchup with Eno because it's so annoying. You have to open her up so freaking many times and she's so slippery and she has that. She has such a, a big, how do you call it, so much mobility that it's really hard to pin her down when you're playing Eno. But you don't really have this problem with Slayer because she has to get close to you to do some damage. And as soon as she does one mistake and I open her up, and I have Slayer, she's gonna lose like more than 60% of her life. So I'm like, I feel at ease when I play, I play against Melia with Slayer. I'm, I feel so at ease. Oh good lord, look at the damage. There we go with Moogie, man. On match point. If he wins this one, it is over for it. So, man, what is going to happen? Let's see. Oh, Lord, Moogie going for the... Oh! Oh, he even get that. Oh, Lord! Oh, he tried to go for the kill. He tried to go... If Eto did not burst this one, he would have died for sure. Ah, nice grab, though. Yeah, Moogie just... Moogie just, like, unlocked... Oh, the crap! The grab! The grab out of the freaking alpha boy from Moogie and... Good lord! So Eto was looking so dominant and then Moogie just had a Slayer moment for sure. Moogie just built different. What the fuck? I have never seen someone do that. Yeah, for sure, right? I know, right? You sound a bit sadistic. I am. I am sadistic for sure. So let's see how this pans out. But then again, yeah, Kohide is used to this matchup. So... Ooh, nice conversion station from I'm Help! Ooh, almost got the clean hit in, but unfortunately it was a trade in favor of Kohide. Kohide goes for the Nasante. No punish from I'm Help, too. That was unfortunate. And here we go with the juggle from Kohide. Should be able to get the wall break. Ah, drops it, unfortunately. Ooh, gets the wave punish, though. Goes for the wild assault to get a guaranteed hard knockdown. Ooh, Lord the Puente, though. No punish. Ooh, the Nasante definitely came very close to. Ooh, that back dash, though. Here we go, I'm Help. Probably gonna go for a Sif. Setup, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff from I'm Help. Didn't commit to anything. Okay, nice. Oh, and this is gonna bite Kohide in the butt. No, don't drop this. But it's fine. It's still going pretty good. Okay, good stuff from I Help. I think Kohide is gonna use the reflect shield right there. Reflect shield. Yeah, I know it. I know it. No Kohide. I know him. <laughs> I know him so much. Okay, it's not over till it's over. You go to your Jatado and the 2k for the kill. Good stuff from I'm Help. I know Kohida. I know him, yo. I know him so much. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the wall break for I'm Help. They are pretty nice lead for now, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go with 
I'm help. Ooh, I'm help. Not getting grabbed right there. That was sick. I'm help. Looking really good. Ooh, gets the stroke. And this should be it, actually. Yeah, this is. Oh, boom. Yeah, this is death. Good stuff from I have help. Take it with a perfect also. Good lord, I'm help is looking pretty good today. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's see for the second match. Is Kohide gonna be able to shift the tide of battle? And uh, put one on the board. We shall see. Nice grab from Kohide. Kohide tries to go for another grab. Goes for the whiff punish. Okay, good stuff right there from I'm help. Ooh, what was that? I don't know, but it definitely profited. Kohide uh, went for the low this time around. Ooh, nice spacing from I'm help. Goes for the low. Kohide gonna wake up DP. Uh, no, he's not. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay, good stuff. No entire go, yo. I'm help. Probably he was afraid of the the aerial overdrive. Very nice stroke from I'm help, knowing that Kohide was gonna go uh, for a. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. I'm help preventing Kohide from moving, from trying to uh, to jump out of pressure. Yeah, that was for sure. Nice punish of the Nasante. I'm help. You're looking very good right now. Very dominant, by the way. Hasn't lost a single round to Kohide right now, for as as of now at least. Get okay, nice use of ah, uh, nice use of the uh, the wild assault to keep the pressure on Kohide. That being said, oh here we go the stroke. Okay, nice MT. Ooh, and the six P. Oh, let's see how this pans out. Big Puente right there. That was a very ambiguous Puente, by the way. And Kohide probably gonna go for the overdrive. Is that gonna kill? Nope, not enough. <clears throat> okay, what is gonna be the follow up? Uh, that was. Oh, okay, he wanted a instant overhead. Good stuff from Kohide. Manages to take it. Let's see how this fans out. Good stuff, and here we go with the corner carry. Boom! <clears throat> yeah, you can see Kohide definitely wary of the stroke, doesn't want to overextend. Gets hit by the 2S. Well, this is going to be nice. Damn, no, Johnson! But has the intelligence of using the Roman Cancel to uh, make his uh, whiff move safe. Nice. Ooh, wait, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I'm elevating the burst right there. Very nicely done. Takes a pretty nice lead. Not going to lie. What is Kohide going to do? What is Kohide going to do? Good Lord. Oh, stroke, man. This is Kohide's bane. Kohide hates stroke. I can tell you. I can tell you right off the bat. Here we go to grab, man. Giovanna is a grab character for sure. And here we go with Divas, the, 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 what? The, the Ventania. Oh, good lord. Very nicely done from Kohide. Should be able to seal it if he finds a one opening, that is. Ah, nice. Nice of our right there from Kohide. Gets the. Uh, first round of this third match. And the bag dashes too of Kohide, yo. Here we go with the stroke. Ah, here we go with the continuous pressure, yo. Ah, man, Kohide is pretty solid, though. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, gets it, though, by the... Oh, yeah, that was good shit. Good stuff from... I'm help. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Yeah, he, he was wary of Kohide. Yeah, Kohide not gonna burst there. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. He's not gonna burst there. Okay, good stuff. I'm help on match point. If he wins this one, he sends Kohide out of the tournament. Oh! That was pretty good. Oh, good stuff. The delayed jumping D to catch the grab attempts from Kohide. Wow, so freaking far. Goes for the MT. Duty, the 2K. And I'm help with a pretty nice life lead. But it's gonna happen. Big, big, big hover into the jumping S counter hit. Not enough to kill though. Enough to get the hard knockdown though. One more hit is enough to send Kohide out. And the trade on the Nasante. What the hell happened? And I'm help friend Mugi. So let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> now you know why. Yes indeed. So let's see how this pans out. Goron versus uh, Whip Mugi. So let's see how this goes. If Mugi has countermeasures, wow, that was the that was the most disrespectful grab I've ever seen. <laughs> it was good stuff from Goron. Okay, and here we go with oh good lord, the mixes. A nice bar right there from Goron. Did find the opening. Oh, yes, it though by the uh, 
Okay. Ooh, universe! By the universe! Let's see how this spins out. Good stuff right there from Goron. Goes for the safe setup. Goes for the tap. That's not enough to kill though. Oh, he wanted the reset, yo. Good on you, sleazy fox. Good stuff. Yeah, and let's see how this spins out. Who gets it in? Good on with the bait on the burst. Very nice stuff from going on. Gets the bait, gets the hit, and gets the win. So let's see if he's going to be able to seal the deal. Ah, oh, man, yeah. Mappa Hunt, when it is... When it is... Oh, nice conversion. And right there, man, using the... Uh, Using the, how do you call it, the Roman cancel after um, checking that he actually, uh, after confirming the hit was really nicely done by Mugi. However, look at the damage right there, gets the side switch, go on with the combo. With the overdrive. As a finisher, this is going to do a lot of damage. Well, it's going to do some damage at least. With a uh, wake up option though. No, yeah, it's safe, it's safe, it's fine. Mappa Hunchy indeed. Ah, good stuff right there from Mugi. Goes for another low for the kill. Very nicely done. So let's see how this fans out. Here we go to Mappa Hunch. Tried to go for the uh, command grab. And the command grab, he did get this time around. Nice 6 speed though from Goro. Oh, gets hit by the drop. Oh, big universe. This is going to be death, by the way. Bye bye, Mappa Hunch. <laughs> Good. Yeah, Pop Bunker, I'm sorry. Big pile bunker right there from with Moogie. Moogie takes the first match. Well, Moogie definitely seems uh, pretty pretty comfortable with the matchup, if I might say. So let's see if Goron manages to shift the tides of battle, because right now things are looking pretty bleak for them, not gonna lie. Big 6P from Goron gets another 6P in. Gets the jump in. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lord. <coughs> Big pile bunker. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, nice back dash from Mugi. That was sick, yo. Should be able to get the kill. Uh, here we go, the Paul Bunker loop. Very nicely done. Damn, Mugi looking pretty good, yo. Okay, here we go. Oh, almost got grabbed right there. <laughs> okay, let's see, man. Mugi being extremely aggressive right now. Gets hit by the 6 though. So let's see how this spins out. Ah, uh, nice blocks right there from Mugi. I forgot what song this is. It's uh, Zamasu's theme, but I want the other one. Merge Zamasu's theme, okay. I just want Zamasu's theme. Though. Let me let me put a song request real, real quick, if I can find it better. I don't want Merge, I just want Zamasu. One second, guys. <clears throat> Good stuff for Mugi actually puts another one on the board. Where's the Masu's thing? Uh, not the Masu, it's Goku Black theme. I'm, I'm dumb. Goku Black. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. I don't like Zamasu's team. It's like a, a bad version of Goku's team, of, of Black, of Goku Black's team. Oh okay. Let's just let's just put it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh damn it! I'm sorry, Miss Loop. Oh, you you actually requested it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put it back uh, after after uh, the. Goku's black theme. I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't I didn't realize you actually put it as a request. I, I, I put it back, don't worry. It, it's gonna come after this one. I just prefer like Goku Black theme a little bit better. <laughs> I didn't? I thought you did. I I'm the one who put it. Oh okay you did it. Okay, well, uh well sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take it out then. My bad, my bad. I'm just done. Okay, good. It's fine, it's fine. I requested an FF set. Okay, well, all good then. Perfect. So I'm, I'm just gonna put the Goku Black Steam then. As is right now. Currently. My bad, my bad. I love this song, by the way. It's so much better than the Merge Zamasu Steam. 
Anyways, here we go on with the next battle. I like Goku Black's team way more. Oh, for sure, me too. I, I don't like Merge Samus. So it's like a... It's a, it's a downgrade version of Goku Black's team. It basically is this. So yeah, I definitely prefer Goku Black's team for sure. So good thing that we see eye to eye. <laughs> That's good. Anyways, here we go. And uh, we're actually on match point. If uh, Mugi manages to get the kill, he will uh, move on to the next battle. Whereas he will defeat and uh, eliminate Goron. So let's see how this pans out. Mm. <clears throat> Great testament is fun to watch for sure. For sure, for sure. Ah, and here we go. Oh no! You can see Goron trying to go air to air and unfortunately getting hit by Mugi. This did a ton of damage. This is gonna kill. It is! Good lord, Mugi! Take it a click. Fly. Winners. Final. Here we go. Start for the wait. We're good to go. Winners. Final. So this is Hagira versus Hakule Leimu. The one who wins this will make his way to the grand final and send the other one in the loser's bracket. So let's see how this spins out. Big six period there from Hagira. Manages to get the momentum back. Oh wow. Okay. So back in the neutral, big jump in from Hakule Reimu. Goes for the Roman cancel extension to get the wall break. Kaboom! Also using the wild assault to get the hard knockdown. Here we go, the close-up pressure. Nice grab right there from Hakule Reimu. And gets the, a quick first uh, round kill right there. Let's see if Hagela can shift the tides of battle and bring it back. We shall see. Nice backdash. Ooh! Nice confirmed though from Hagana. He wasn't quite able to get the follow-up of his uh of his uh, conversion though. This is quite unfortunate. Does get oh Lord! Hagana him with the wake up BP. Nice grab from Hagana though. Got this spins out. Ah big big it wasn't a 6p2. What the hell was that? Anyways, here we go with the close-up pressure. Nice standing P from Hagana was able to get the momentum back and punish the Fudra Dark attempt from Hakure Lemu. Nice back dash from oh, Hagure Lemu, but man, Hagira was on point. Notice that uh, Hagure Lemu had back dash immediately Roman can cancelled in order to, uh, well, to punish him, actually. Good stuff from Hagira. Anyways, here we go with uh, Hagira ev um, evening the odds, putting one on the board, well, one round on the board, that is. First match is extremely important, especially in the grand fi in the fi finals. Big grab right there from Hagure. Goes for another grab. Trying to get a reaction out of Hagira. Hagira not committing to. No, oh, but getting hit by the stun edge. Forcing Hagira to pop the burst. Big 6p right there from Hagira going under Hakure. Punishing his uh, him on the way down. Ooh. Good the pressure. Hakure Leimu. Ah, forced to pop the burst. Okay, here we go. The jump in. Wasn't quite able to get the conversion though. Here we go. Oh, grab attempt. Oh, gets hit by the 2D counter hit, though. This is going to be big juggle time for Hagara. Going to get a setup as well with the corner carry. Ooh! Oh, Lord. So many things happening right now. Lots of throws that whiffed, but Hagure Demu ah, what, still ended up in the corner, unfortunately, for him. And here we go with the follow-up for the kill. Hagara looking pretty strong. Puts one on the board. Let's see how this spins out. Is somebody going to be able to stop him? We shall see. Nice grab right there from Hagara. Going to get the jump in. And here we go with the close-up pressure. Big DP right there from Hagara. Doesn't give a, an F, if I might say. Oh, big jump in again from Hagara. And... Forcing Hagira to pop the burst. Again with the 6p, you cannot jump on Hagira. Even if your life depended on it. Okay, oh, very nice jump out from Hagira. Almost got hit by the stun dipper. Ooh, Hakure Lemu dropping the combo and getting hit by the Illusion Driver. Driver! Oh, with the extension and should, yeah, I guess the side switch. Oh no, and no wall splat. You better finish your plate, Hagira. Oh, and you did. Okay, good, good. Good stuff from Hagara. That was a little bit scary right there. Let's see how Hagara was able to finish his plate. Yeah, fatal drop, exactly. I'm late, but I am here. Welcome, Mineral. How you doing, bro? Welcome back. And here we go with... Ooh, the... Ride the lightning! For the wall break. 
Very nicely done. Let's see what is going to be the follow-up. Close-up pressure right there from Hakure Leimu. Ah, tries to get the grab. And here we go with the... Ah, uh, this is not going to be enough to kill. I feel like Hakure Leimu should have went with the uh, Red Delight. I think he's fine. Did he backdash? Ooh! He did. Yeah, well, it's better than getting hit by the Overdrive, though. Okay, big stun dip right there for the kill. Good stuff from Agarele. He's still not out of it yet. It would be good if he could get this one, though. Getting hit by the Stenny H, though. Oh, ah, the kickoff. The kick, the servant kick. You hit to say it. Big 6P again from Agarele. And yeah, this is going to be it. Good stuff from Hagera, man. Extremely, extremely suffocating. But at least we're in right now, so it's fine. We're going to be able to see this round as well. Hopefully we won't get any anymore. Here we go with the juggle. Hagera didn't move forced to pop the burst. Nice for S right there, forcing Ariela to pop the burst as well. Connection errors and bad lobbies are the heart and soul of Strive. Yeah, it wouldn't really be Strive if we didn't have these errors, right? <laughs> in the end. <laughs> I kind of understand what you're saying, huh? Anyways, here we go to stun depa. Good stuff right there from Akulele Moon. Not getting hit. Oh. Goes for the stun dipper. And good lord, man. The freaking. The the guard. The. How do you call it? The tap guard. Not the tap guard. The guard point. Such a very strong tool that Hagala uses perfectly all the time. Big 2D right there from Hagala. Gonna get the kill. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> okay, and here we go with the corner pressure. Hagera on match point, by the way. If he wins this one, he will send Agure Lemu in the loser bracket. Okay, here we go. Hagera not overextending. One minion has been put on the deck. Wow, how did it not hit her? And here we go with Hagera and the Illusion Driver. And it's enough to kill. Hagera taking it a quick, quick you know, wins. I guess Slayer has more of a edge in Strive. Okay. Uh, so, fr from my understanding, when I talked to Daru Ino, when I was on one of his stream, one, well, not me personally, I was on the stream, but when I was uh, in the chat of one of his stream, and I asked him what he thought about Slayer, so he was he was like you like he said uh, he said that yeah in this version of Strive you know is is okay it's fun to play against Slayer it doesn't seem too complicated either but what he said after this he said it unlike uh, Exerd where Exerd was kind of very uh, what is, how did he say it he said it was stressful playing uh, playing uh, Slayer as you know in 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 Exerd so I don't know if he uh, if he um, uh, if he meant that Slayer and Eno is potentially in favor of Slayer, in Exert, that is, not in, in, in GGSC, or if he just didn't like the matchup itself. Maybe not his favorite still, exactly. I see, I see. <laughs> well, for now, it's uh, for now it's looking pretty good for I'm Help, not gonna lie. For now, yeah, I'm Help got the first round, so let's see how this pans out. But yeah, for I didn't really play Exert, so I'm not really quite knowledgeable on who... Uh, had what type of matchup but judging from Daru Ino's like uh, reactions when I asked him what he thought about Slayer and how he responded me uh, taking as an example Exert where he didn't necessarily like the matchup I thought I thought that uh, Slayer and Exert was a bad matchup for Ino but I'm told I'm I, I'm totally open with the fact that I might be wrong but as you guys uh, so nicely noted uh, for now it seems to be entirely in favor of I'm help I'm not gonna lie <laughs> Old Slayer is 100% more stressful than Strife Slayer. Okay. He doesn't have BDC uh, shenanigans in this game. Okay, okay, got it. Gumbody, I'm help. <laughs> in the other game, Slayer could use his invulnerable backdash to cancel into specials and jump on wake up. Good freaking lord. That's crazy, yeah. Huh? That is pretty crazy, yeah. Huh? Good lord. Okay, well, yeah, because Slayer is um, the only thing that kind, kind of catches me off as an Eno player against Slayer is his uh because you know us as Eno players we often do uh safe jumps uh okizemes so we do hover 
and we do jumping S and we time it on the wake up of our enemies of, of the opponent in order to have a safe jump. So what that does is that basically it's very good against DP characters or reversal heavy characters, but it's very bad against, for example, counters or uh, everything else that is invisible on wake up and has an odd timing of counter attack. And that takes into account the uh, property that uh, Slayer has basically, where he can bag dash and then do uh, forward S and he cancels his bag dash into a, an offensive attack. It really messes you up as an Eno player because it messes your timing for every single uh, Seipo Kizume that you implanted in your brain. You see what I mean? So yeah, it's basically the only type of thing that kind of messes my brain up when I play uh, against Slayer. But that's about it, basically. The rest is fine. When Slayer is on screen and exert, uh, Strive damage starts happening, I see. Strive damage is higher than previous games. Um, <laughs> MFS when Slayer uh, walks in. Yeah, I see, I see. <laughs> What do you mean? But yeah, for now, I'm help is looking pretty comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Big six hit. Ah, uh, th that is pretty big. And here we go. I'm help up two to zero, yo. I'm help currently. Uh, I wonder if, if yeah, no, he's sticking with Slayer. Okay. Uh, Mugi sticking with Slayer doesn't want to. Uh, ah, Slayer. <laughs> Mugi, who's now a Chinese individual, as I can see. <laughs> Let me change his flag real quick. Here we go. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> You can OS against that consistently, I think. It has a fair amount of startups, so you can buffer maybe uh, close S or 2S after JS in the case when he tries to backdash and wake up. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And I mean, it's mad, uh, it's mad uh, minus some block, so I can actually just go for the safe jump, not input anything in the follow up, and just wait to see if he's doing it and then block, basically. It's also a possibility. So it's not, there's, it's not as if there's no answer to it, not at all. It's just, um, it's just that. I'm not used to it yet, basically. I'm not used to have to deal with this to uh, with this yet. So it's only a, a question of time. I'm sure I'm gonna find like stuff to uh, to deal with it. For example, in the corner uh, during the Oki during the um, when your opponent your opponent rises up, there's a setup with Eno where you can do 2K, and right when you input 2K, you input a forward 6 6H, and then and at the same time you input uh, D. So for it's 6H and D, what it does is that if the 2K hits your opponent on block or on hit on wake up, the 6H is going to come out. But if your opponent bag dashes, uh, the grab comes out and then you grab your opponent who uh, tried, for example, to bag dash. So this this works against uh, against a Slayer. So it, it, there's a lot of like, uh, but it, it works only in the corner, obviously. But it's uh, it, it works on Slayer, so it's it's all it's already like half of the the thing done, you know. But that being said, look at this boogie. <laughs> Mugi with the damage, go BOW! Get out of here! Mappa Let's see how this spins out, here we go, yeah, the jumping HS catches back dash it. Yeah, I'm um, help doesn't have much chance here, yeah, he had to go for the grab, for the, uh, let's call for the, um, the burst, or he would have died with it. Let's see how this spins out. On with the next battle. Oh, big 2 HS start of the round. But... I'm help responds and do far. Oh man, gets hit by the six H too. Uh, by six, uh, the the Mappa hunt. Okay, here we go with the close up pressure. Wow, ah, nice grab, command grab right there from Moogie, man. Is that dead? Nice, no, it's not dead. Not yet. It did a lot of damage, by the way. Big Mappa hunt right at the start of the game, yo. Yo, Moogie working on a freaking uh, comeback. Moogie has wow. Nice use of the stroke right there to catch the back dash of Mugi. Mugi using instant block right there to uh, to punish the uh, 6H attempt of Unhelp. <clears throat> Let's see how this spins out. Nice mix right there from Unhelp. Won't be able to kill though, but pretty close to it. Careful there, Mugi does have bar. And Unhelp going for the grab. Very nicely done. Okay, match point again. Mugi has to save it though. Oh, big Bapa Hunt. Woo, too far for the pile bunker. <laughs> I never go to the grab for Moogie. Moogie, man, getting the hit. Ah, you can see, yeah. Uh, you can see I'm help. I'm help, yeah, getting a little bit. Oh, man, getting schmixed, yo. And here we go with the 2K for the kill. Man, Moogie working on that comeback, yo. You can see I'm help doesn't like that closest at all. 
And this and then the, the command grab attempt is like completely messing up his uh, uh, decision making right now. Big map punch. Oh, too far for the pal bunker. Nice jump out right there from my help. Should be able to get. Yeah. Should be able to get the wall break and does. Here we go. Yeah, I'm help not out of it yet. Big map punch right at the start of the round. Oh lord, the closest, the forbidden starter. Look at this damage, good lord. Good, where did your health go? Oh yo, yo. And he even got the bait on the burst. The cheeky moogie, yo. Cheeky moogie, yo. Very nicely done. That was crazy, yo. That was crazy, I'm not gonna lie. And here we go with the overhead. Uh, Moogie trying to bait that uh, jump out, probably. Okay, here we go with the close up pressure. What's gonna happen? Oh man, you can see I'm help trying to get the. Ah man, he tried to go for the instant over for, for the tap dust, but no. Moogie's defense is too good, yo. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh! Start of the round, Mappa Hunt, yo. Ah, this is. might be death. Okay, stroke for the win. That was close by L. Okay, this is going down to the last round of the last match. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Ah, big Mappa Hunch start. Ah, big close says this is looking pretty bleak. And good lord, Boogie! Boogie with the bait on the burst. This is looking pretty bad. And here we go with the tap dust and Moogie takes it three to two and went down to the wide. Tools and relying on them more, which are safe by the way. And then the dandy step, which can be called out by, you know, just pressing, pr pr pressing buttons or mashing or stuff like this. Okay, anyways, that being said, here we go. This is the loser's final. It's going to be Hakule Lemu, uh, whose elo I'm going to search up real quick. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just really curious. Because this is, he's really strong, so... I want to see exactly where he stands. How could I let him stand at? Ah, he hid his profile. He doesn't want us to know. That's too unfortunate. It is what it is. It is what it is, but he is very strong. That is to say the least. And here we go with the first round going very, very quickly in favor of Hakurei Lemu. But then again, it pretty much, uh, it pretty much was the case for the previous match as well, where uh, Hakure, not Hakure Lemu, but uh, with Eito, I'm help, had a pretty nice lead and had like two matches down before Mugi unleashed the beast and was able to bring, uh, to, to make a comeback, so. And here we go, nice back dash for then, here we go with the Mappa Hanji for the kill. That did a ton of damage, good stuff from Mugi. Because he was gonna take the first match. And here we go, the double direct left for the wall break. Let's see how this spins out. Nice jump out right there from Hakure Lemu. Goes for the Sun Dipper. Good lord. Ooh, and the freaking mix is right there from Mugi. Gonna get. Oh! Ride the lightning, yo! You didn't expect this, right? Let's see what is going to be the wake up options right there of Mugi. Mappa Hunch, of course. Gets the grab. It definitely can go either way. Oh, and stun dipper for the save. Is that gonna be enough? Is he gonna get? Yeah, he's gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. Very nicely done right there. And just like this, Hakure Lemu takes the first match. Let's see if Mugi is gonna bring it back. We shall see. Hmm. Ooh, nice six p right there from uh, Hakure Lemu. Unfortunately for him, Mugi could block just in time. And here we go with Hagre and the confirms gonna get the corner positioning once the electricity state on Mugi. And again with the electricity state. Here we go with the direct law. A nice tech right there from Ah uh, Mugi gonna get a full punish from the Poorly timed stun the brittle, yeah, but Hakure Lemu gonna take it with the grab into the Roman cancel extension for the wall break and the kill. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. 
And with the stun uh, edge right there. Ah, oh, man. Nice straight in favor of Moogie completely. Gonna get the wall break and look at the damage. Half of your life on one exchange. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, too too quick, too quick. With the uh, juggle. How could I hit him with the grab? Oh, big. Oh, no. Moogie dropping the combo. I think Hakure might burst and he won't have the time actually. <laughs> and the double close S for the kill. Okay, Hakure Demu still uh still has his burst. Big trade right there in favor of Mugi goes for the jump in. Hmm. Ah Lord. Big dandy step right there, guess the ah. And this should be it. And gonna get yeah the kill yo with the pal bunker for the save. This did so much yes, damage. We're in, we're in, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Oh, big two inches counter hit though. You can see that Mugi is angry. Mugi doesn't have time. I have to go to, I have to go to the grand finals. I don't have time to sp to spare here. And here we go with Mugi. Yo, Mugi with the freaking oh man, Mugi with the how do you call it the the confirms. That is pretty crazy. Very nicely done. Here we go with the jump in. And Moogie bringing blood. Moogie with the jump in gets the kill. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, oh, big forest though from Hakurede. You gotta get the wall break. With the stun dipper. Kaboom. Let's see how this spins out. Big stun dipper. Now, speaking of stream, I'm probably gonna stream tomorrow as well. I'm gonna go back to Eno a bit. I feel I feel the Eno bug coming back to me, and I kind of want to play her again. Yeah, I had my 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 fun with uh, with uh, Slayer, but in the end I'm an Eno main, so yeah, I have to play Eno sometimes, or I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> and here's we go with the jump. Oh, no, I tried to get the cr the, the cross up, but couldn't quite get it. Can okay, we got the side switch though? Goes for the save jump, gets it though. This is unfortunate for them. As someone that uh, does not drink alcohol, I think drunk streams are cringe, but I'm well aware. I'm the minority here. Yeah, I used to do it when I was a little bit younger. Well, when I say younger, it's like it's like a couple of years ago. <laughs> when I was closer to like 20, let's say, uh, let's say three years ago, I used to do it. But then really, I reviewed my VODs and I said some really inappropriate shit in it. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'm not going to do it again. And I tend to get like very salty when I lose and I'm drunk. So I, it, it feels like it's not worth it. I'm here for a good time, you know, not to like make people ill at ease or whatnot. So I'd rather be completely conscious and completely in control of my mood, so that I do not, uh, I do not showcase like a, a bad part of me when I'm streaming, basically. And also after that, the fact that I might get banned if I say some really dumb shit on stream. So I'd rather, you know, I'd rather play it safe, be completely like, uh, you know, be completely sober when I stream. Yeah, basically. But uh, there are some drunk streams that I had that were very, very funny though. But usually it was a group stream. It was me with other of my friends, my Guilty Gear Strive friends, who came at my house. And we were all like just drinking and playing together. That 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 is a good uh, drunk vibe type of stream, which I'm okay with. But me drinking by myself is probably not a good idea, I think. But yeah, definitely. I, I'd like to have a drunk stream, but only with like other people. That 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 is definitely doable for me. Uh, that being said, here we go with Moogie down one round, but up two games right now. Currently in the lead then. Everyone had to uh, get a bit of Slayer out of their system for sure. Especially if you play like a low damage character like Milia or like uh, Eno or like, uh, you know, these types of characters. When you switch to Slayer just, just for the for the heck of it, it's really, it opens yourself to like a whole new world. Like seriously, it's like you're playing a different game altogether. But yeah, that being said, Hagele Lemu looking pretty good. Goes for the grab and gets it. But then we're gonna go to the last round of the last match. I, I'm calling it out right away. So let's see. Uh, up to the next battle. Big Mapahanchi and Mugi. Oh, tried to go for the command grab. Unfortunately for him, Hagele Lemu. Ooh, baited his burst. And here we go with Hakule Reimu and the, the uh, Wild Assault for the hard knockdown. What is going to be the Schmix and the offense? Here we go, the grab. Good stuff from Hakule Reimu. Goes for the safe jump. Goes for a Schmix. I just wanted to have good look. How many freaking... What was that backdash from Mugi? That was crazy. Why would you backdash there? And it worked. That's a... Oh, wow. The blocks. Though. The block. Wow. 
The blocks from Hakure Lame. That was crazy good. Ah, finally got opened up. And Hakure Lame. Betting that he's gonna get it. Oh, it gets hit by the closest. This might have been an error from Hakure Lame. I'm not gonna lie. So let's see how this went. Oh, got hit by. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, nice back dash though from Hakule Lame. The cojones on this man. Ah, oh, gets hit by the jumping age though. You need to see it. Ooh, here you go. You want to back dash? I'm not gonna let you do so. Here we go. The safe jump. Oh lord, goes for the extension station and just like this, just like this, Moogie. Le Loser. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. This is the last match of the evening. Uh, one second. Did I write it correctly? Yes, I did. Okay, here we go. So, on the winner's side, we have Hagiara, who has made a straight win up until the grand final, who is facing none other than Mugi. Let's see how Hagiara manages to deal with this high damage output. Uh, the high damage output character, we shall see. Good lord. Nice jump out right there from Hagiara. Gonna get the side switch and the corner positioning. Gonna get the bait on the yellow room and cancel and gonna go straight. For Ooh, or not. I thought he was gonna go for the, uh, I forgot the name, the uh, Elysian Driver. But thankfully for this, Mugi is out of the corner. Probably tried to bait the Elysian Driver thinking that Hagiara was gonna go for it. Goes for the grab again. You can see Hagiara definitely trying to get... Oh, I guess it might just the 2P really. That was anticlimactic, but anyways, it works, so it is what it is. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go with the sending HS. Boogie get, getting the grab. Tries to go for the command grab, but this time around Hagera just uh, basically jumps out of pressure. Very nicely so. So let's see how this spins out. Again. Uh. What's that guys? I'll be right back. Wow, and Hagiara with the hero burst right there gets the, the, the aerial grab. Very nice, bro. And here we go with the Illusion Driver for the kill, yo! Okay, Hagiara evening things up. Definitely not going down without a fight. Let's see if Mugi can keep the momentum going. Here we go with Mugi and the save jump. Gets a clean hit in. Oh no! How did he not connect? That's strange. But anyways, Mugi getting the command grab in. Okay, here we go with... Oh lord, the close-up pressure right there. Hagiara trying to go for the grab. Getting the standing H in. Ooh, getting hit by the Mappa Hunchi. Oh, and the triple dash for the kill. Is this man serious? Is this man serious? Good lord, man. Moogie is on fire today, man. If he manages to win with Slayer, this is going to be great. This is going to be great, Leo. Anyways, here, dash, 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 of course. <laughs> I mean, as, lo as long as it works, you know. That was really crazy, man. Anyways, here we go with the close-up pressure right there. Moogie having to, yeah, deal with so much pressure in at once. It is definitely not easy. Again, here we go. Oh, wow, and that punish, yo. Big damage incoming. I get up with the hard knockdown. Mm. You can see ya. Oh, Lord. We get the close up pressure too far for the command grab. And here we go, the punish from Hagiara. Hagiara definitely not going down without a fight. Okay, here we go, the grab from Mugi. Now goes for the cross-up. The fake cross-up, actually. And Hagiara with the pressure in the corner, forces Mugi to use the reflect shield. Nice 2k 2d again from Hagiara. Oh, goes for the freaking instant overhead. The blue Roman cancel set up and gets it. Into the Elysian Driver for the hard knockdown and damage. Big counter hit right there. 
forcing her to pop the burst. Oh lord, and the tap does, man. Okay, the double Roman cancel in favor of Mugi this time. He has the corner positioning. Ooh, drops it, but still finds the opening. Goes for the freaking closeness, yo. That was such a slap in the face. <laughs> Good stuff from Mugi, man. As expected. Okay, here we go with the close-up pressure. Hi, get up, man. Trying to get that that hidden. Finds a hidden. Ah, goes for the tap dust. Goes for another tap dust and goes for the wild assault for the hard knockdown. Close up pressure. Nice use of the reflect shield right there. Ah, tries to go for a schmix using the dash in order to get across a but Hagara was on point and gonna get the kill and put one on the board or not. Highlight. Okay, one more chance for Mugi. Oh lord, that was a poorly timed attempt of using the Oh man, one hit, yo. Or not, or not. Nice grab again, man. Nice grab from Hagala. Definitely on point when it comes to the reactions of the dash of uh, of uh, Slayer. Nah, that was really, really well done. Not gonna lie. Here we go with the map Hanchi. Big pile bunker. And the wild assault incoming for hard knockdown. Here we go with the jump in. I get a finding the knockdown with the 2k2d. Gets the grab and the side switch. Gets the fake cross up. Oh, good lord. Moogie caught sleeping right there. Oh, and the gold burst. I got a deciding not to go for a, a jump grab, a, a gr aerial grab. Let's see how this spins out. Big map behind. Moogie finding the opening with the. Uh, tab the last very nicely done. Mm. And here we go with the grab from Agyara. Gonna get into close up pressure. Couldn't quite confirm the hit there though. Here we go with uh, the minions. Buff. Nice grab right there from Mugi. Ah, uh, gonna get the closest. That was huge, by the way. Nice jump in, and good lord, Hagiara, knowing that Mugi would have gone for the grab, goes for the back dash and gets the punish on it. Uh, okay, here we go with the tap dust against with the Roman cancel. Big damage, yo. Good, the double top power bunker. And man, Mugi taking it, yo. Two to one on the verge of resetting the bracket. Good lord. These guys do not want to let me go to sleep. <laughs> Good stuff. Here we go with the oh, the guard break. Get okay, nice six p. Wow, that was a great six p from Hagara. Gonna get the side switch. Gonna get hit by the Mappa Hunter, of course. Very nice dash forward into the grab from Hagara. Gonna get the wall spot and the illusion driver for the hard knockdown and damage. Driver. Just a tiny bit more from Hagara to get the kill. Wow, big rod. This is going to do a ton of damage. And boom. Good lord, look at the damage. I thought she won 60% gone. Ah, trick two, yeah. Try to get something going, but it is how I was going to take it in the end. Illusion. Driver. Good stuff from Hagara. Definitely not out of this yet. Just needs one more round in order to... Tie things up. Nice bar for a movie, too. Ah, uh, fails to get the follow-up Mappa Hunty, though. Which made him lose momentum, too. Ooh, get nice spacing. And here we go with the close-up. Yeah. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Well, all things considered, not that much, but... Ah, uh, man, yeah, you blocked it. You're in schmick zone. You probably should have used your burst, though. I don't agree with it. But hopefully, you are right and I am wrong. Okay, nice use of the minion straight into the illusion driver. Driver! Big damage, yo. Okay, but yeah, but Mugi does have two bars, yo. Ah, nice grab. Gonna kill, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff.
Okay, we are on a match point. If Mugi wins this one, he will have reset the bracket and sent Ayala into losers. And therefore, we will be going on to the next battle. So to the next set. So let's see if this is the case. Big close up pressure. Yo. Boom. Wow, this is looking like a reset bracket to me. A bracket reset to me, yo. Let's see. Ah, yeah, and this is gonna be a bracket reset. Oh, no, not, not. No, oh, and my apology for the kill. The reset has been bracketed. We need a Yoda Kai. Of course. Uh, nobody gets to go to bed on time. We gotta reset, yeah. Especially not me. Specifically not me. Yeah, these guys don't want to let me go to sleep. I know it already. I'm totally aware of it. And man, look at Mogi, man. Out for blood, yo. Oh, Lord. What was that? Re oh, that was a pretty nice pick. Ooh, I almost got the follow, too. That was crazy. Good stuff from Mugi. Mugi definitely feeling himself right now. Good Lord. Let's see how this pans out. Is Mugi going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Okay, back in the... Neutral, Mugi dispat while well, disposing of the little pesky minions. Tries to go for the jump in, but unfortunately, wasn't able to reach Hagera. Ooh, nice. Ah, oh, Hagera with the perfect positioning to punish the Bapahanti attempt from Mugi. Good damage right there. Oh, good lord. Nice close S. Gonna get the follow-up as well. That that is a great freaking setup, by the way. As soon as you hit somebody out of the air, just go straight for the uh fully charged dust. That seems like a pretty nice uh a nice stuff to do. Then you zero go to jump it and the 6p to get the kill. Very nicely done from Hagala. Who's gonna get the first match? We shall see. Oh lord, that was ooh, very ambiguous. Wow, catches the freaking, no, punishes the freaking uh, grab attempt from Haga. That was really, really, really good. Nice just defend right there. Just blocked from, from Hagara. Hagara with the yellow Roman cancel bait straight into the illusion driver. Very nicely done. Let's see if he's going to be able to seal the deal. We shall see. Ah, oh, man, I almost got the hit. Big counter hit right there. Elysium driver. Very nicely done by Hagira. Hagira taking the lead this time around. Okay, one to zero. Okay, so Hagira waking up a bit. Definitely does not want to go down without a fight. Let's see if he's able to shift the tide of battle. Big wild assault right there, forcing me to pop the burst. Does not. Oh wow! Big whiff punish right there. Goes for the safe drop. Oh, too far to get the command grab. And I got a shoot. Oh, I thought he was gonna get the blue room and cancel. Mapahanji, very nicely done. Nice grab right there from Hagara. And here we go with Hagara. And I uh, couldn't quite get the wall break though. Woo! Are you serious? That was sick. Haya uh, using the tab, the, 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 how do you call it, the guard point in order to punish the 2 HS of, uh, of Mugi. That was pretty, pretty cool. Not, okay, too far to get the hidden. And here we go. Oh, no, no juggle for you, sir. And here we go for the overdrive once again. Drive out! Okay, Mugi had a pretty nice start during the first set, but... Right now, it seems like everything is going in Hagira's way. Ah, man. We get out of burst. One more hit is enough to kill. And I almost got... Damn. The drops from Hagira are so uncanny. I never... I never seen him drop so many uh, so many of his routes today. What What is going on? Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Is Mugi going to switch to Nagori Yuki? That's the that's the question though. I think he won't though. Yeah, here we go. It is Slayer until the end, till death does the support. Let's see how this pans out. Big Mappa Hunch right there and Hagala just punishing it in due form. Uh, almost got the jump in though. Ah, uh, Hagala with the confirms. Get the side switch and the wall break. Oh, 
Okie dokie positive bonus for Hagiara. Tried to get the wall uh, carry right there. Ah, man. Oh, almost got the juggle. That is so unfortunate for Mugi. He has to. Yeah. Got the Mappa Hench right there. Unfortunately, got swooped by the 2D. Very nice use of the tap dust again from Hagiara, man. It's not over till it's over. Hagiara waking up with the DP, with the, the burst, and gets the kill with the minion. <laughs> Big 2H counter hit. This is going to do a ton of damage. This is the optimal startup, by the way. Is he going to get the loop? No, he didn't. He can get it three times, and he got it twice, unfortunately. It's pretty hard to get, though. The timing is pretty strict, but he should be able to get the kill there. Okay, okay, so... Mugi not out of this yet. Got a perfect right now. He's got almost a full bar of burst as well. Let's hope that he is capable. Ah, man, getting hit right off the bat by this standing HS. This is pretty bad, though. So it's pretty bad right off the bat. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with Mugi. Oh, catching the back dash right there, forcing the burst. Ah, man, getting hit by the guard point. Wow, the use of the Roman cancel right there from Agatha was pretty crazy, not gonna lie. See how this spins out. Nah, too far for the two HS though. Oh, big two HS starter, yo. Gonna be big. Oh no, almost got the hit in. That is so unfortunate. Oh wow, the cojones on this man. Wow. Oh, this should be it. And it is it. Good lord. Okay, Boogie not out of this yet. Finally puts one on the board. And I'm not going to sleep any time soon. <laughs> Good lord. Moogie. Moogie did not want to go down without a fight. Oh, here we go with Moogie and the golden burst. Oh, gets a hit with the 2H. Big 2H, yeah. Again, man, with the 2D, yo. Oh, man. Here we go to close up pressure. I get up with the close up pressure. Gets the grab in. Straight into the Elysian Driver. Ah, yeah, he's gonna get the kill, yeah. Good stuff from Hayata. Almost there. One more. Sleep is for the weak, indeed. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, good stuff from Mugi. Not out of this yet. Ah, the big jump in from Hagara. Gets the empty jump in. Oh, Lord, that is very bad for Mugi. Oh, gets the 2H in. Is he going to get the full combo? Let's see, one. No, he just wanted the wall, the wall spot, which is fine. It's understandable. Very nicely done. Ah, big problem. That was so risky, and this is not going to help it. Oh, he's got the bait on the burst. Okay, Boogie not out of this yet. One more round. Let's see if Boogie can take it. Oh, get the two HS again. Is he gonna get it? Let's see. Now, too late for this. You need to do it earlier, Boogie. Okay, anyways, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, that freaking command grab, the sliding command grab. Oh, oh, Boogie, Boogie, Boogie. Good lord. Boogie on the verge, yo. Two to two. We're going down to the wire. Good freaking lord. Who's gonna take it? I have no freaking idea. We're gonna see. Good freaking lord. <laughs> this is crazy. This is so freaking crazy. Final, final, final game. This, yeah. Final, final, final game. This is freaking crazy. Is it gonna go down to like the final round of the final match? Probably. <laughs> of course it is. Why not? Anyways, as you can see, Hagiara is definitely not happy with the outcome of all of this. Definitely out for blood. Oh, that was a big counter though. You can feel that Hagiara is a little bit angry right now. Not going to lie. Big grab right there from Mugi. And here we go with the wall break for the kill. And Moogie taking the lead, yo! Moogie taking the lead! He's gonna take it! He's gonna take it, yo! 
Oh, Boogie! Boogie can feel! He can feel it! He can feel it's within his grasp! <laughs> Good lord! God, Boogie! Oh, Boogie! 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 Oh! He's got the pile bunker! Oh! Catches the back dash! Catches the back dash! Oh! He, oh! He's got the pile bunker though! Not, no! Too late for the pile! Oh! He's got the jump in! One more hit and Mugia is going to take it. Is he going to be able to do so? We're going to see. One more hit. Oh, and he gets the kill with the freaking 6P into the ball bunker. And just...